ड्रेड <laughs> Lordship directed to submit a report. Uh, report was submitted. It is fixed on 18th April. Okay. Let both two matters be mallot placed together. Mallot, I am giving the copy of the order passed by your lordship. Is that correct? Then I file the appeal matter before your lordship. Your lordship subsequently mallot, I want to make this expedition. Your lordship dismissed as withdrawn. Then I have three kindly see. Your lordship has passed this order. Then I have been devoured to file a press expedition. I cannot file a. Will matter, undoubtedly. Uh, yes, we have we have said no liberty is granted to file a press expedition, but I cannot file a will matter, undoubtedly. But can can I be debarred to file a press expedition before the London single judge? You lost your judge view. You go before the London single judge. Oh, so you want to be uh, yes to be clarified. Yes, yes. But then this order has already been uploaded. Can you file an application? No, only because of press petition within bracket appeal, that will be sufficient. No, no, that's true. If the order has already been uploaded, dispatched, etc., to modify that, you file a formal application. We list that application. My, my, please. May please, your lordship. Lordship, I'm mentioning uh, for inclusion in the list a restoration application. It is within time, lordship. It's a mandamus appeal where, uh, in a contempt application, my proper building has directed to be demolished hmm. uh, to the police authorities. And fact remains on the self same issue. A uh, application under Order Twenty uh, Thirty Nine Rule Two A is pending before the civil court. Civil court. So the, I am praying for that. Actually, may we permit to mention a public interest litigation upon notice. This matter was last mentioned on eleventh March. Mm -hmm. The urgency. The yeah, lordship, the urgency is that the petitioners and other similarly placed persons are AI workers under the NPC Double B scheme, mm -hmm. uh, and the AI accessory kits which are which are provided to the petitioners under the scheme has been stopped. Hmm. For which the petitions are unable to work. Is it running in the monthly list? No, your lordship. It was directed to be listed after one week from eleventh, but the matter has the, not appeared. We'll check. May I be lodged? Group nine. List. You use the mic, mic. हम ग्रुप नाइन लिस्ट आशा जन्ना मेंशन कर कुछ ही उन्नीस तीन ते तारीख का मैं फाइल करें थी. Well, he is mentioning a matter yeah. regarding Group Nine application, oh. and he is asking for the listing of the matter. Well, oh, what is urgency? Urgency key, sir. Urgency. I'm told that this single judge has come. I am just to show my pain. I am a problem. That baller. I am a person hundred percent handicap. On the roof, some people are nearby. One day, I am a judge. Sir, I am a day. I am a person. 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 लॉर्डशिप Because I have some difficulty, my lord. I pay for only for not to the my lord. All right, item nine. My lord, get to. May I have my lord's kind leave to file an appeal without certificate copy? Yes, yes, leave granted. My lord, item my number six, my lord. My lord, Kaveri Ghosh appearing on behalf of the appellant, my lord, but she could not come due to her illness, my lord. I am paying not this week, my lord. Not this week. Not this week. Item my six. Six, my lord. That is M A T eight fifty six. Case number M A T. Yes, yes, ma'am. Eight fifty six. Yes, ma'am. Yes, the review application if you lost this. My lord, some particular judges of Calcutta High Court, the seat of the judgment 
is used to help the criminal, various criminal and Bangladeshi criminal. Unavoidable evidence submission here. Honorable Justice Dipanka Dutta order rejected. Honorable Justice Sonjib Banerjee order rejected. Honorable Division Bench order Justice Patharia rejected another Division Bench of Justice Somenshen. Division Bench order, Division Bench rejected and bail granted. Accused Bangladeshi, singer and MP. Politician readers the judge judgment sit ke babar kora hoche. My Lord, apni jokhon e boshe achein. Abi Banglai bolchi. Apna rektiya rache. Amar wife ke kono nidhisto jagay dagbar. It is. Sandesh Khali Shahjahan, Justice Mantha, Justice Mantha, among this allegation admitted by Honorable Justice. Oh no, what do you want? You want the matter to be listed? Listed na, my lord, I have bar mentioned kori, gato dinu mentioned kori chhi. My mother, serious still, prescription, original. Ami akmatro chile, ami baarun kurti kashi, ekta date nidhishte korun, fixed korun. Ami hearing korte chai. Shetcha charita chulcha, oro yaga to chulcha hai kote. A judge there. Ki monakona nijay there ke. Judgment seat is not personal property. Tomorrow. It will be in the list tomorrow. Find it up at the hearing it will be in the list tomorrow. My mother, serious seal. All right, all right. It will be in the list tomorrow. Please call. Appellate side, daily list, serial number one. <laughs> one. Mm. For my lord, for upgradation, my lord, it is happening as item 171. We will lost his monthly list, my lord. You give the slip, we will see. My lord. What is this to be mentioned? Your lordship, uh, I'm appearing for the uh, appellant. On the last occasion, my senior prayed for uh, withdrawal of the uh, current appeal. Mm. Uh, thereafter, we tried to obtain the written instructions, but we could not obtain it, Your Lordship. This is the email correspondence for Your uh, Lordship's kind of they have uh, sent? Uh, they, your Lordship uh, kindly takes a look. They said the client cannot be contacted. Then don't withdraw. No, without written instruction, your Lord Lordship, you withdraw. Your Lordship, but uh, just for your Lordship's kind consideration, if I may, we have not uh, yet filed the stay application or the uh, Section Five application also because we can. We then you can do one thing, you can withdraw it with liberty to file a. Your Lordship, uh -huh. that your Lordship. Okay. You are not signed. <laughs> Appearing in a secretary letter seeking permission to withdraw the sub. So we have to sign this one. On 19-3-2024, the learned advocate appearing for the appellant submitted that submitted a letter seeking permission to withdraw the appeal uh, on the instructions from his client. How and the said letter was placed on record and the appeal was dismissed as withdrawn. It appears that on the said date, the learned advocate for the appellant was not in possession of any written communication from the appellant uh, directing him to withdraw the appeal. Therefore, it is uh, submitted. Uh, the, therefore, the learned advocate had sent an email to the advocate of the appellant. Um, advocate, advocate through whom the appellant had entrusted the brief to the learned uh, counsel appearing in this appeal to give uh, give written instructions to withdraw the appeal. The said advocate has responded by stating that that the client is no longer working with him. Uh, and he may contact the new advocate on record for further mm -hmm. clarification. Thus, as on date, the learned advocate appearing for the appellant does not have any written instruction to withdraw this appeal. However, the learned advocate for the appellant submitted 
that since the stay application along with the annexures have not been filed in this appeal, seeks permission to withdraw this appeal, uh, uh, stay, stay, stay petition along with the annexures, uh, uh, and the application under Section 5 of the Act, Limitation Act has not been filed, seeks permission to withdraw this appeal, to file a fresh appeal uh, um, against the very same impugned order, uh, along with the stay application and annexures, as well as application under Section 5 of the Limitation Act. Accordingly, the appeal stands dismissed as withdrawn with liberty to the appellant to file a fresh appeal uh, against the very same impugned order, um, along with a uh, uh, stay application and an application under Section 5 of the Limitation Act. Sorry, to your Lordship. Because without written instruction, it's not safe. Serial number two. But I think, Lord, uh, your Lordship need not be troubled mm. because, Lord, I have advised the university to deal with, Lord, all the defaulting institutions Very in good. terms of your Lordship's order dated 19th March 2024. Mm. Lord, uh, whatever has been the direction that will apply, Lord, in respect of all the other, Lord, defaulting institutions. Only one because thing, Because every day, otherwise, your Lordship's list is getting clogged. I, I personally feel that uh, they are similarly situated. So, Lord, they, they should be dealt with. On the other hand, Malad, they are saying that until your name is not appearing... No, no, we'll clarify. Kindly do that. And, Lord, that has been my advice to the university. Malad, only one thing, my Lord. Your Lordship uh, was pleased to give us, my Lord, threefold of relief, my Lord. One, proceed with the affiliation application. Second, giving chance to rectify hard admission. My Lord, they are using... Provisional uh, affiliation also. No, my lord. Yeah, what they are doing, my lord, they are issuing electronic mail to the applicant with four lines stating that on scrutiny of your documents, it is found that you have shortage of faculties which will affect the teaching and learning process. Hence, your affiliation for 23-24 cannot be granted. My Lord, chance not given us to rectify. My Lord, this appointment... Oh, no. See, look here. Faculty is a... Oh, no. What is it? If there is a shortage of faculty, you can't be granted six months' time to fill up the vacancy. That, that is what, my Lord, I'm trying to... Suppose, suppose it is lacking in a couple of books, your library, or some equipments are not available. Or probably the classroom is not at ready. One additional classroom. Probably you can be granted some no. of these instruments. My Lord, my Lord, Lord I say, can I say, my Lord, only, only one minute. Their difficulties, my Lord, we have not one. given the time no, to complete the process. Cases, only one minute, my Lord. File a separate red petition, challenging Only it. one minute, my Lord. Only, only one sentence, my Lord. This uh, appointment of faculty member totally controlled by the university. Even in the interview board, uh, no, my Lord, true, seems... Madam. Madam, you have to advertise, then call for application. Yes, my lord, since then May 23. I have not completed. No? Yes. Uh, uh, then you will have to scrutinize. Then after the, you make a provisional selection, you refer the qualification to the university for its approval. Suppose that fellow has got a degree through postal. He has got it through an open university. Or he has directly got his MA degree without undergoing any graduation. Will the university approve his qualification? So, faculty is no, a very, very essential need. What university is doing, they are not giving the date for interview, my lord. Since May 2023, we can't, we can't do I can show to from the say, document itself, my lord. To, that is an individual cause of action. Let that institution approach a single bench or whatever is the remedy available under the Act. You exhaust that remedy. This common order business will not help. No, whatever Lord, the is, university, my Lord, the university has. The university is not opening this portal. The admission is not being going on. Now this session has been started. Now you will now kindly give the particular date so that the university can open the portal and take the. Sir, first of all, you have to be eligible to participate right. or open. The... No, no, some of the candidates. All right. The have been my Lord, on the last but, occasion. But, my Lord, only one thing. Pass these three folds of the order. Number one, any kind of um, requirement which should have been fulfilled, that will be fulfilled by a given time by the university, but the provisional affiliation will be given. 
and the admission process will be on. Sir, but they are not giving these things. They are denying the entire order. They are doing this, my lord. They are denying two, the entire order. Two rooms, my lord, uh, colleges. They are giving affiliation, my lord. We have not. Yes, that my lord. That is the reason why this they are so you are not. This is the picture of the college, my lord. My lord, I... I leave to appear for uh, NCT in all these matters, Lordship. Um, I seek leave to appear for NCT. Uh, the prayers in the Abu applications are identical to the prayers sought made, made in CAN number 1 of 2024, etc., which were disposed of by order dated, by common order dated 19 3 2024. The learned senior advocate appearing for the respondent university submitted. Hmm? He has, he has given the necessary instructions to the university to process all the applications of the defaulting institutions and to examine as to whether they will be eligible for provisional affiliation. So, since already a comprehensive directions have been issued, come on, uh, uh, issued in the order dated 19-3-2024, the, uh, the benefit of such order shall inure in favor of all the applicants in these CAN applications which are listed before this court today, as well as will be equally applicable to other institutions yes. who seek for provisional affiliation uh, from the respondent university. Yes. With the above observations, the application stands disposed of. In case any individual institution is aggrieved by any orders that may be passed by the university, it is, it's a separate cause of action, uh, and, it, uh, and uh, the, those institutions are at liberty to work out their rights in accordance with law. There is a time capping for 10 days, my lord. We have to give up to tell admission. Why, why, why it is happening like this? Because the portal will no, be open no, at a time. Admission now, of some of the applicants... I'll, I'll, I'll give you a lordship immediately. Lord, I thought, Lord, once your lordship passes this order, we take, Lord, two, three days to process all the applications and then open up the portal for everybody. Okay. Who have been given, whoever has been given the affiliation. Lord, uh, please take down. The learned senior advocate uh, appearing for the respondent university further clarified that after the compliance is made by the respective defaulting institutions, the, applic the, uh, the compliance report will be examined by the university. And uh, as and when provisional affiliation is granted to those institutions, the portal, uh, official portal of the university will be opened so, uh, so that the admission process can begin. This submission is placed on record. Much Thank you. Next. Material number three. Well, I am for the respondent. Respondent. I am yes. for the petition, Lord Chief. The petitioner before your lordship, my lord, he's a village people, my lord. He is my lord, only this, my lord. Item. The uh, well, statutory annex. appeal is there. Annex the learned single judge passed an order directing for filing statutory. It's better, sir. Statutory appeal. Better because appellate authority can examine. Hmm? Um, it is a case of theft of energy. Theft of energy. Well, lord, although, my lord, the appellate. Time is over, but your lordship can. Disconnection has been made when the petitioner is suffering, my lord. I moved to the petition, my lord. We will give you 15 days' time to file the appeal. If you file the appeal, the appeal will be taken up without reference to limitation and decided on merits. This intra court appeal is directed against the order dated 9 3 2021 in WPA 10847 of 2020. By the said order, the writ petition was dismissed. Grad, uh, um, directing the appellant to avail the statutory appellate remedy under section 127 of the Electricity Act 2003. Well, find there is no error in the order and direction issued by the learned single bench for us to interfere. Uh, uh, consequently, this appeal is dismissed. If the, if the appellant files a statutory appeal within 15 days from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order, the appellate authority shall entertain the appeal without reference to limitation. And Lord, this will this order will not create any precedence because the appellate time is 30 days. That's it. That's your first. That's so grateful to you. Next. Real number four. I'm the appellate man. Uh, there's a 12 days delay for which I have a application under section. May I file my affidavit of service? Respondent served. My dot man. My affidavit of services. What is the matter? And, uh, the the thing is that I'm a senior citizen 
I I have three daughters who are who have been married off. Mm. Now I live with my brother's son. My brother's son is in the prop uh, uh, is in the property property owned by me. Now now my lord, my brother's son does not want me to live in the property. For which I made a made a representation before the subdivisional officer, who is the officer under the I mean the, uh, under the senior citizen act. I just want consideration of that and consideration and no, the learned judges say um, it, it uh, appears yes. from the records that the respondent number six is also recorded owner of the said property. Then uh, recorded, uh, recorded. Then the liberty granted you, uh, you have been granted uh, permission to go before the civil court. At the same time, oh, police was directed to maintain strict vigil. Ensure there is no breach of peace in that area. But, uh, the title deeds are in my favor. I have the title deeds. No, six, respondent number six is the brother's son. Yes. He is also shown to be a co-owner. He's, he's a recorded man. Mutation. That is only a mutation. This but the deed is in court, my uh, favor. There is a delay of seven days in file. O only well, I was well, waiting well, for file. consideration. The, the, the nothing else. The reasons uh, given in the affidavit filed in support of the petition and the delay in filing the appeal is condoned. Para. This intra court appeal is directed against the order dated 3 2022 in WPA 8729 of 2022. The appellant was aggrieved by the private respondents. Uh, aggrieved, uh, the appellant uh, filed the writ petition stating that he is aggrieved by the action of the private respondents who are forcibly trying to evict her. The learned single bench has recorded that the respondent number six is also a recorded owner of the said property and there is a family dispute and therefore granted liberty to move the civil court for appropriate relief. We find that the observations and finding rendered by the learned single bench to be absolutely right and calling for no interference. Apart from that, there is also a direction to the police to maintain strict vigil and ensure that there is absolutely no breach of peace in the area. Thus, we find no grounds have been made out to interfere with the order passed by Leonard's agreement. Appeal dismissed. Next. Appeal number five. Five minutes. After the service is not complete, if you lot see. At least after service of notice. Deep level, Appeal number seven. Serial seven. Led yes. by appear for the respondents in this matter. Uh, for the appellant, I am led by Mr. Ratnanko Banerjee and Mr. Shakko Sen. They are they will be coming. Before my learned friend uh, starts submitting, I had only one request, Lordship. Lordship has heard uh, an appeal uh, an appeal or a writ petition where I think our judgment was also cited. Uh, that writ is filed by Billa Corp and that is uh, I think reserved for judgments. That is that incentive matter. Uh, this also this is also an incentive matter. Mallet. Here also the order which was passed and impugned Mallet. They are... Probably we will deliver it this week. Lordship, I was only saying this, that Lordship then kindly hears out our appeal also before Lordship makes up his mind and delivers a judgment in that rate. Lordship hears out our appeal also. Let us, let us no, give actually, our points no, no, to you, your Lordship. You have, I think your argument is, um, this has got nothing to do with the other appeal. That was the submission, I think. So, there are some factual differences yet. But there are also oh, uh, some factual you, similarities. You have the benefit of that judgment. If it uh, goes in favor, it goes, I goes have against. A, but I have a small problem which I'll... Well, the problem is well, my learned friends have gone into execution. That they will hold for a week. That your lordship kindly, well, that should be an understanding. You hold on lordship for a week. does not need to file a formal order there. We give our word, lordship, we are not All going right. to proceed. We, we list it on Monday. No, but yes. lordship, what I was saying, and I was instructed by my seniors to also submit this, that lordship, before passing that judgment in Billa Corporation, lordship may hear out this appeal kindly. No, because there are some perimeteria issues on which we also want to place our... That's the benefit of that judgment. No? But yeah. lordship would have made up his mind by then, which is why... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, list this matter next Monday and uh, on the request made by the court, the learned uh, advocate appearing for the respondent submitted that, that uh, the the execution proceedings which have been uh, initiated by them will not be pressed till this uh, appeal is heard out for admission. List on Monday under the same caption, same position. Very good for your Next. Number eight. Yes, sir. 
Aceito que és. Que que é, que é, que é? What is this, sir? <laughs> so, the question is not the admitted dues to be paid by the Vidhan Nagar Municipal Corporation. Hmm. In my humble son, Lanet Judge Bilot was not right holding that go and file a suit. This is not the proposition. But no, since they are not here, what is it? What is it? Out of the total. Some contract, contract was performed, is it? Yes, 65 lakhs. They have paid me 2 lakhs. I am asking for the residual amount. But, but are they disputing the. No, no that's my point. But had it been disputed, but the question of the determination would have come, it would have gone before the adjudicating authority. But here, the they have on their own prepared the bill. They have given the completion certificate. Everything is there. But anyway, Milad, he is seeking time. And I would seek a day's accommodation, Milad. I appear for the corporation, Milad. But the learned judge records that there is palpable discrepancy between the work orders and the completion certificate. That was because of Milad. Error in pleading, but not factual. Because the but documents of the DNC would... Let us say, X amount is admitted. Hmm? Uh, if you... That can be disbursed. Yes. The disputed amount probably... That can be adjudicated. Uh, if there is an arbitration clause, that can, no they can go before arbitration. Or they can go before but the... Presently, same. Millard, I am not in a position to assist your lordship. Hmm. Only I am seeking a day's accommodation, Millard. Public order, when it will come? Tomorrow. Hmm. Tomorrow, group four first preference. And then next day, when these matters are taken. Right. We have heard Mr. Bikasanjan Bhattacharya, learned senior advocate, at the request of the learned advocate for the respondent. Uh, list day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. The same position. Number nine, which Serial number ten. Hello. Yeah. Serial number ten. Lordship, I'm appearing for the respondent. Lordship, I'm led by Mr. Shen. I'll be moving the section. I'll be opposing the section five. I'm for the respondent. Hello. Uh -huh. This matter, I'm led by landed advocate General Miller. Mm. I was praying for not today. He has request, he is not there, man. There's a one day accommodation. We'll do it on Wednesday. Once, but in that event, not take it next one next week. Well, my Lord, let, let it be on Wednesday, Monday. Monday, Monday. senior councils in can yeah, when they are uh, uh, the contempt is on Friday. That is no, the so that uh, is your contempt you can always mention. Hmm? We have but heard so and so and so. I cannot oppose At the request of the learned advocate appearing for the appellant state, list on Monday, same position. <laughs> Next. Number 11. 11, my lord, I appear on behalf of the appellant, my lord. There is a delay of 98 days, my lord, subject to question. That they won't oppose. Uh, only, my lord. Only on the date of my lord, issuance of rule, my lord, they have applied for a certified copy of the rich court. Lord, this is what I am drawing lots of attention. Nothing more, nothing less. After issuance of rule, my lord, they have applied for a certified copy. My lord, the order was passed in the month of August, 21st August. Thereafter, in the month of January, contempt initiated. My lord, only in the month of February, 23rd February, when the rule was issued, my lord, they have applied for a certified copy. This is a case of compassionate appointment. No. This is the case, my lord, where the Terminal benefits. Terminal benefits are being sought by the legal heirs of a so-called employee of the CTC, my lord, of the health department. He was an ambulance driver. But there are no records. Now the ball has rolled down to us to say whether he was working at all or not. He does not have any papers. We also do not have any record that he has worked with us. But the Honorable Single Judge directed us that it is your responsibility to show that he was not working with you. The burden of but proof. there is a communication from the subdivisional medical That's officer. Only, yes, that yes. is one communication of the subdivisional officer that you will be allowed to run, uh, allowed to run the ambulance. But since when he was working, that is also not there. He was allowed asked to run the ambulance, and that is the that is the sole communication which is the foundation of this red petition. And based on that, this it the authorities have been saddled to pay this malad give the terminal benefits to this 
a particular rate petitioner. So this matter needs to be heard because my, my, the Honorable Singer Jai Malad has taken recourse to my section 106, 140 of the Evidence Act. Lord Shri McKinley Malad admits this rate petition. Lord Shri McKinley hears out this rate petition. Innumerable documents are there, including the no, question no, of no, compassionate appointment. Not a single document. I'll show my. Not a single document. Single opportunity may kindly be given, I'll show. Even whether they have considered my case of compassionate effort. PA to the Director of Health Services has sent a reply to the query of CMOH Bardwan, which is a positive reply. And thus the learned judge says, as on August 2nd, 1984, it is clear from the stand taken by the Director of Health Services that late so-and-so, an ex-ambulance driver, had died in harness. Whatever from That is also more wrong uh, subject to correction. That is wrong appreciation of the facts. Well, a three men inquiry committee was there for compassionate appointment also. That was taken into consideration only in the year 2015. But then the committee rejected their application only on the ground of delay. delay. But, but, the, the, but the fact also is there, my lord, and that cannot be denied. We do not have any. No, no. Otherwise, the committee would have said. There is not a scrap of paper to show that that ex-employee or he so was never an employee. They did not climb up the second stairs. On the first stair only, my lord, they cancelled it, my lord. The committee came to the conclusion that there is a delay. They did not climb the second stair because but, it was there was delay. Had there been not been delay, then we would have come to that second step, my lord, whether at all he was working with us or not for 10 years, more than 10 years. Whether at all he is entitled but to that. Then, uh, sir, when you claim a compassionate lord, appointment, the onus is on the claimant yes, to establish that he or she is the legal heir Not so. or the sole surviving legal heir of a of the deceased, and that the deceased was a permanent employee True, my lord. of the organization yes. or the government. Lord, 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 kindly allow me one minute. Hmm. My lord, initially, my lord, this is within the my lord, the state administrative tribunal. Hmm. My lord, we have approached state administrative tribunal, initially rejected on the ground of delay, so far the compassionate appointment is concerned. Hmm. My lord, being agreed, we prefer my lord application before this honorable court. Honorable court directed them, my lord, in the event, my lord, the authority is reluctant to consider my case for compassionate appointment, that is correct or other thing. But so far the pensionary termination benefit is concerned, lords have directed my lord, the state administrative tribunal to consider it. Hmm. Thereafter, on the basis of their affidavit, State Administrative Tribunal directed them to consider the whole issue and reconstruct the file. Not only, my lord, from this two, one or two years, 2016 onwards, this whole fighting is going on. Thereafter, my lord, State Administrative Tribunal was not there, as a result of which we approached Lokayukta authority to, for taking up the issue. They never denied each and every place they have written ex-driver, ambulance driver. My lord, compassionate appointment rejected for the purpose of, my lord, delay. And the other application, my lord, they are considering other things are there with the record, my lord. Lord Sir, kindly allow me, I'm showing. The problem I'm is showing. This factual exercise cannot be done by the red court, number one. Number two is offering, uh, now the Honorable Supreme Court has said that compassionate appointment is not a source of recruitment. True, my lord. Earlier, the, you see, you see. True, my lord. Earlier, the directions were create a supernumerary post accommodate. Yes, my lord. Now, so, my lord, are, in the event now, a person is there. No, there are a lot of... Uh, Central government organizations True. where a scheme is formulated. Lord Sikh. And the number of posts which can be, um, I mean, uh, accommodated based on compassionate appointment is also stipulated. So it is not that every person automatically. Only when the documents may kindly be looked into whether he is an ex driver or not. That has so far, the, my lord, the communication of the state authorities so concerned. Show us I am showing you. The, the three member committee's order. I am coming, my lord. Lord Sip, kindly come to my lord, page. At the outset, my lord, page uh, 15. My lord, after the affidavit. After affidavit, Lord Sip got it. It's not the state application. No, the read petition. 15. 15. Of the read petition. Annexure P1. Lots of got it. Oh, one second. Yes, annexure P1. P1. But I'm reading. In close, please find error with an application in respect of the Bhukti, uh, Bhukti Rani Khato. At that point of time, wife was alive. Driver, my lord, the uh, ex ambulance driver of this hospital. Ex ambulance driver of the hospital. In this connection, I beg to inform you that Shochibodi Khato worked in the hospital up to 18 5, 1965, as per record available in the office. He has been paid salary up to the so-and-so time. 
when he was on deputation in the Asansol LM hospital, no other records are available in this office. So the application of Sri Ghatak is forwarding for favor for favor of your necessary Very good. option. Good then my lord, I am showing more communications are there. Turn to the next page. Annexure P2. Hmm. My lord, this is prayer for compassionate appointment. Hmm. My lord, prayer for compassionate appointment, prayer of Bhuktirani Ghatak, prayer of Kalachand Ghatak. Kalachand Ghatak is the son. Sir. Son, here petition, my lord, read petition. Then my lord, turn to next page, annexure P3. This is also a communication of government of West Bengal, director of my lord, health service. My lord, chief medical officer of health. I am directing to request you to my lord, place the my lord, uh, the uh, with your uh, comments at the very early that the disease less Shochipoti Ghatok, ex ambulant driver Katwa, SDJM died in harshness. Yes. Then, my lord, the other things are there. Death certificate enclosed in column number five. Date of death, so and so. Date of birth of the disease, everything. My lord, signature may kindly be looked into. Eligible, ineligible, eligible, illegible, 18984, PS to DHS, West Bengal. And then, my lord, is communicated to the subdivisional medical officer, Katwa, Bhuktirani Ghatok, wife of the, my lord, the ex employee. And, my lord, these are the communication at that point of time. Then, my lord, turn to the next page, is a type copy. Page 26, prayer for employment of Kalachand Ghatok on compassionate appointment. Then, my lord, I am coming, my lord, kindly see the inquiry report, page 28. Yes. Here also, my lord, inquiry was taken place. So far, my candidature is concerned. So far, other person is concerned. Her name is to Kumari Onamika Mullik. My lord, the first paragraph, last two, three lines. And so far, my, my name is concerned, Kalachand Ghatok. Then, my lord, kindly see the signature, Chief Medical Officer of Health, Vardhuman. Then, my lord, turn to next page. This is, my lord, in the year 2008, further communication, government of West Bengal. In continuation, my lord, turn to next page, my lord, annexure P5. In continuation to this office order, dated so and so, inquiry into the matter of prayer of employment of compassionate ground in respect of Sri Bhukti Kalachand Ghatok, son of late Sochipoti Ghatok, ex employee, ex driver, once again ex driver, Katwa, SDDM hospital, and in respect of Kumari Onamika Mullik, daughter of so and so, and my lord, so and so time, my lord, that being the situation, my lord, chief medical health officer has written this in the year 2008. Then, lordship, kindly turn to my lord, page 31. That's a type copy of page 30. Type, type, type copy. Then, my lord, page 32. Page 32 in the year 2015. From the member secretary, West Bengal Commission for Women to so and so. The West Bengal Commission for Women has received your application, arranged for inquiring into an appropriate authority, copy of inquiry. This is other authority. Turn to next page, my lord. See, the problem is, what is the date of death? My lord, date of death, my lord, I'm showing. This is, this is my lord, appearing, my lord, page you 25, annexure P3. Date of death, my lord, 28th, 12th, 2081. Page 23, annexure P3. 28? 28 December 2000, uh, 19, 20, 81, 1981. On what date the application was made? My Lord, application, my Lord, so far this compassionate appointment is concerned, my Lord, that application rejected for delay. And then I am showing, my Lord. What date was the application made? Application made for, my Lord, the pensionary benefit. No, for the compassionate. My Lord, I am not asking for compassionate appointment. I am asking, praying, my Lord, the terminal benefit of them. And direction That's was terminal there. Terminal benefit. Yes. You produce a service book. My Lord, service book is not with me. My Lord, I am a minor at that point of time. When did you make the first application for payment of terminal benefit? I am showing, my Lord. I am showing. You this was the date. This was deliberated upon by this, my Lord, the state administrative tribunal. I am showing. Lord, you kindly come to my Lord. My Lord, page one, 36 may kindly be looked into, my Lord. Page 36, initially it was rejected by the, my Lord, state administrative tribunal. Then, my Lord, kindly come to my Honorable Division Bench of this Honorable High Court. Page, my lord, 34, 35, my lord, on 25, 2, 2019. My lord, let us have got it. This honorable high court. Page number? Page, my lord, uh, page, my lord, 34, my lord. Th no, uh, 41, not. 41, my lord, 41. 41. Dated 25 February 2019. Yes. Let us have got it. Dismissal, my lord, arise this cause of action. My lord, then I am reading, my lord, the relevant portion, page 42. We order a remand. Which I am reading, my lord. 
accordingly the order of tribunal set aside mm. we ordered the remand which would result in revival of oa number so and so we grant liberty to the respondent to file affidavit in opposition within 6 week reply that to if any may be filed by 2 weeks thereafter the petitioner shall have the liberty of mentioning original application for final hearing before the tribunal immediately after expiry of time limit exchange of affidavit as above or if the respondent do not file their affidavit in opposition immediately after expiry of the mala turn to next page mala time limit fix therefore since the employee had expired about 30 years back we request the tribunal to give original application some precedence for its early disposal subject to its convenience then mala turn to mala page 46 mala the order of the administrative tribunal mala i'm directly lots of drawing lots of attention page 50 mala the order in portion mala page 50 page 52 mala uh, uh, pe pe page uh, 51 50 uh, the, the, before that mala i'm showing mala oh, that's the finding of the company. finding of the yes mala 51 yes, i'm reading also worked in the asun yes mala salary up to 18th may 65 yes mala when you was in uh, deputation yes. at asun asun so lelam hospital there after, after no records are available, available. he expired on mala 28 december 1981 since there is a doubt of record as it appears from the reply that service book could not be reconstructed due to non availability of instruction mala that is true sir but yes he passed away in the year 1980 oh my lord in 2016 yes my lord you are trying to revive a, a, a stale claim and here my lord the my lord this was the direction passed by the my lord probably he would have been employed as a temporary driver no or on a casual basis which is the order of this day in the state of west bengal for decades together no but kindly see my lord before that I, that, that is why i intend to my lord deputation ay prashno ashe na my lord temporary if he is temporary driver my lord driver then the question of deputation may not arise my lord page 50 may kindly be looked into my lord here my lord page 50 for a while my lord mr ak banerjee learned advocate appearing on behalf of the applicant submits that though many document could not be found however it is evident from annexer b and annexer c of the application that death certificate is with the respondent authority appropriate order may be passed referring to the reply filed by the state respondent particularly paragraph 15 Ulti there of no no ultimately the direction was to reconstruct the service book yes my lord here Then what happened here my lord reconstruction they are sitting tight they are sitting tight as a result of which my lord at a point of time when the tribunal was not functioning we have applied before the my lord lokayukta authority i am showing my lord and lokayukta authority my lord directed them my lord to my lord hearing was provided page my lord lots of kindly come to page 58 page 58 yes my lord 29 12 my lord so and so appeared my lord mr dr chakraborty in his usual fairness submits that the department has already taken all possible steps even in absence of any service record of late sachipati ghatak so that grievance of the complaint be remedied there is the opinion my lord it is to be remedied they are of the opinion it is to be remedied then my lord it is also submitted that there are quite aware they are quite aware that about the order passed in swenso by the west bengal state administrative tribunal in connection with the case swenso and trying to comply with the same varying the principal constraint the department is now facing so my lord they are my lord some difficulties are there as a result of which they are not in a position that is why honorable writ court did not grant any my lord the my lord the interest because they are trying hard mala that being the situation then my lord it is submitted that there is no lapse on their part then my lord skipping one paragraph it is also pointed out that most of the vital information necessary for the service book and processing and disbursing retailer any bit the legal error of sachipati ghatak not being available in the department in spite of their best about one, then my lord no no what are the documents available is my lord doctor the there is something to show that he was born in 1932 yes my lord and then on a of the last salary was paid to him on 185 and 1965 and there was some order of deputation to asans in asans so like yes then you have got the death certificate yes apart from three three documents there is not a scrap of paper yes. to establish that he was a permanent employee otherwise my lord the department could not process my lord compassionate appointment it's file it's a state compassionate state. file my lord it was processed and there after a point of time because of delay it was rejected my lord so far that what is concerned we are not talking about that no any application for compassionate appointment will be considered and the first aspect that will be considered is whether it is there a person who the family has been able to survive from the year 1981 uh, till 2016 that's it that itself shows that 
the family is not in indigent circumstances. No, but so far that what is concerned, we are not facing. And not facing. if you want terminal benefits, Lord, Lord, the onus is on the claimant to prove that the disease was a permanent. Mar, that, that we, 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 we have Mar, the document which are lying with us, we have produced. Here, my Lord, the, my Lord, this appeal has been preferred not by the state of West Bengal, but the director itself. I am showing, my Lord, Lord see, kindly see. You that see cannot the, be done. You see the report which was filed on behalf of the second respondent. Uh, in the red petition, yes, my lord, a two one eight double double eight seven, yes, my lord, page 61. Uh, yes, you see page, that report, yes, my lord, I have seen that report, page, uh, page 65. 65. The there is no part. record of his joining, my lord. They are admitting he has joined in Katua hospital at a point of time. There are, sir, maybe he has worked, nobody is so he has termed as ex, ex driver, not terminated driver. He is a, not temporary, my lord. He may be an ex driver, a, my lord, he may be an ambulance driver, etc. To be entitled for terminal benefits, he should prove that the employee worked continuously. Firstly, the employee was appointed in a permanent post after following a recruitment process. Secondly, it has to be proved that the employee was working in that permanent post continuously for 10 years to be eligible for retiral benefits. True, my lord. Unless these two factors are proved. Well, the direction of the state authority, state administrative tribunal, where, my lord? To produce some scrap of paper. No, well, that if that particular paper, sir, we lying with us, my lord. In that case, my lord, we will file. So my lord, therefore, lord, therefore is... a person who has slept from the year 1981. So, well, the pension, my lord, no third party right has been created. My lord, I am asking for my lord it kindly, is, kindly, is. kindly, my lord, the Supreme Court judgment may kindly be considered. It's my property right, my lord. No, 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 no my lord, the pension is my property right. That that is a proposition in law, my lord, not on fact. The fact is, you will have to establish True, my that the disease was a permanent employee. Document which are lying with us, we have produced, my lord. Kindly see page 50 for a while, my lord. My lord, what they have stated in their affidavit before the state administrative tribunal. Lord, see, kindly see for a while. <clears throat> my lord, Mr. A.K. Banerjee, Lord, see, got it. Even now, it's not late. If you produce some document to show that well, he was a permanent well, employee the... of the concerned department and worked for a minimum period of 10 years to be entitled to, we will issue that direction no, no, to them to consider. Well, a document, my lord, which are lying with us, we have already produced before the state That's administrative not... tribunal, before the honorable high court. You have got only one document, sir. Lord, you have got only one document, which uh, which you just showed at page number 23. But 23, my lord. It's uh, uh, annexure P1. He, he has Except paid salary. That document, but, there is nothing else. But no higher stated he is a contractual employee or terminated or anything, my lord, page 23. And he has termed as an ex, ex employee of the, my lord, the government of West Bengal, ex ambulant driver. Page 23, my lord. Correct, sir. Every, every employee, there are so many people lord, who are badly workers in the high court for 18 years, uh, 15 years, uh, more, more than that. True. And they will be termed, well, the moment they attain the age of 60 years, they will be termed as ex badly worker or ex worker of True. the high court. Who was posted in the high court. I put this question to myself. How, my lord, the department itself proceed, my lord? So far, the compassionate appointment is concerned. That was delay. Our latches was there. We are facing for it. And we are praying for it. Paying for it. That was taken into... My lord, page 50, may kindly be looked into, my lord. What was their, my lord, statement before this state administrative tribunal? My lord, leaving, my lord, two, three line, my lord, I am reading. Page 50. The question of section 114, presumption... Existence of fact, all but everywhere it is written, my lord. Ex driver, lots of I am reading, my lord. No, no, that will not create an empty for somebody. He is a divisional medical officer, he True. is not the appointing authority. True, my lord. So he writes, obviously, he was an ex ambulance driver. True, he might have been a contractual driver. True, my lord. There is an unless un but for contractual employee, my lord, compassionate appointment. For contractual employees, compassionate appointment. No, and they can reject my application because. Not for delay, but for taking this particular plea, he was a contractual employee. He cannot be given, my lord, this. My lord, we are not. It is a very sad case on facts. We can only sympathize, but we can't issue a direction. So they are also, my lord, they should also maintain the service book, my lord. They are my employer. We are at that point of time, minor, minor girls, girl, my minor daughter and my lord son, at that point of time of my death. Even my mother did not get any pension from the authority. So, my lord, the document which are lying with the state authority. Pension is subject to rules. Lord, unless and until you have completed the requisite number of years of regular service. True, my lord. You are not entitled. Only, my lord, this was taken into consideration by the state administrative tribunal. 
Here, my lord, what is their statement? The state administrative tribunal. Page fifty. That was not ever, never challenged. That was never challenged by the state authority. Page fifty. My lord, I am reading, my lord, up to three line. As it is evident from annexure B of annexure C of the application that death certificate is with the respondent authority, appropriate order may be passed. Referring to reply filed by the state respondent, particularly in paragraph fifteen thereof, it is submitted that since the service book of the disease is not available, no new service book has been directed to be reconstructed due to lack of instruction. Well, they can well or reconstruct well or the service book. Lack of lack of instruction was there as a result of which they are not able to do that. That was the submission made in the state administrative tribunal, and on the basis of that, my lord, this was disposed of. Sitting tight, my lord. This was the amendment made by the my lord state authority before the state administrative tribunal. There are twenty-one observation, page seven of the order passed by the single bench. Yes, my lord. In our opinion, is incorrect. Burden of proof is not on the department. Page para twenty-one, page seven. Para twenty-one, my lord. Hmm. In so far as burden of proof is concerned, it is the employer, Shochipoti, who ought to have special knowledge regarding Shochipoti's continuance in service with the said employer or otherwise. Section one zero six of the Evidence Act nineteen eighty-two provides that when any fact is specially with the knowledge of any person, the burden of proving is is the, that fact is upon him. My lord, the in they are also my employer. Page para twenty-two also. Twenty-two. In the present case, the special knowledge lies with the employer, since the matter concerns service of an employee. The heirs of the deceased employee are not expected to carry the document regarding such service. The inability of the employer to produce service record all along, at least since 1983, cannot be justified in any manner. This particular document finding is incorrect. So, I, but, but except for a uh, annexure P1, there is not a single scrap of paper. My lord, the inquiry report. He continued employment. Inquiry report, my lord, for compassionate appointments. and other document well it visited my place i uh, opted whether i intend to do work in the police service instead of health service then i am showing my lord that particular document para 30 direction we can modify saying that if the uh, writ petitioner is able to produce no uh, some record to show that the disease was a permanent employee of the of the department concerned department and worked for the requisite number of years As per the relevant service rules, for being entitled for retirement benefits, the same will be considered, and the documents will be examined, and if admissible, it will be released. Lord, had this document is with us, my lord, it would have been produced, my lord, since we are starving for a considerable period of time. That being the situation, my lord, you have survived. The family has survived, my lord. The family, my lord, this is the animal existence, my lord. Animal existence. Sir, if yes. lots of kindly direct me, I can bring them, my lord. Animal existence. That is correct, sir. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Getting one thousand from the state authority for their survival, my lord. That is that being the situation, my lord. And uh, now, uh, Supreme Court decisions are to the effect that that uh, the delay is a very very vital aspect to be considered. And the, as as, uh, as I said earlier, the earlier decisions were at my lord, any point of time they can do. Minor children can apply. Of course, now the recent decision is lord, even a married daughter is entitled. I'm I'm referring to Tarsem Singh, my lord. No third party right has been crystallized, Sorry. my lord. In the event, my lord, is a question of promotion. It may be delay a fatal. In the event, my lord, is a pension, my lord. I am not getting any pension for that. I am not getting any interest for that, my lord. That is the order, my lord. I'm showing, my lord, the order. Lord, you will find, my lord. So far, the interest is concerned. No interest was given. Because state authorities, to some extent, trying hard, and that is why that interest part is, my lord, that was our prayer also, my lord. Okay. But I intend to rely upon the Tarsem Singh and other judgment. Lord, if kindly fix it in another date, my lord, I will come right. and I show. My lord, the so far the advocates for the parties, the issue involved in this case is whether the writ petitioner will be entitled for the terminal slash retirement benefits of late Sachipati, who who said to have died in harness. <laughs> and was employed as a ambulance driver the learned single bench has disposed of has allowed the writ petition issuing a positive direction upon the appellants to disburse the pensionary benefits the moot question would be as to whether the writ petitioner was able to establish before the learned writ court by placing documents to show that the late sachipati was a permanent employee of the concerned department and, com and had completed 
the requisite no number of years of service on the date of his demise, namely 28-12-1981, for being entitled for retiral slash pensionary benefits. As could be seen from the uh, documents which are placed before the learn uh, learned red court, except for one, a communication sent by the Divisional Medi Medical Officer dated 16-8-1983, there is no document produced by the writ petitioner to establish that late so and so, uh, uh, Gatak was uh, so and so, was a permanent employee of the appellant department and had completed the requisite number of years of service for um, being entitled for retiral slash pensionary benefits. After elaborately hearing the learned advocates for the parties, we are of the primacy view that the observations contained. Uh, uh, observation slash findings contained slash uh, rend uh, rendered uh, by the learned court are incorrect are uh, uh, incorrect in as much as it is the burden of proof lies on the writ petitioner to establish that the deceased was a permanent employee of the appellant department and not only that the, uh, not only uh, that but also the fact that the employee had uh, completed the requisite number of years of service for being entitled to uh, retire slash pensionary benefits. The learned advocate appearing for the respondent petitioner seeks to uh, uh, seeks time to place uh, certain uh, decisions of the Honorable Supreme Court and put forth the submission uh, for the above for uh, the above reason, above, no. in the light of the above prime facie conclusion we admit this appeal and there will be an order of interim stay of the order and direction issued by the learned single bench in it in the impugned judgment dated 21-8-2023. The uh, respondent writ petitioner is at liberty to file a compilation containing the requisite documents. One, one more aspect, my lord. The state authority, my lord, has not preferred appeal. The director himself has preferred this particular appeal. Yes. Next. Serial number 12. Deeply. Yes. I am for the appellant, my lord. My leader is before another court. He is addressing that court, my lord. I am praying for a short pass over. Your lordship may kindly be pleased to take it. No, you are not ready. My lord, he will address you, lordship. You can address us. Uh, kindly, my lord. Takes it up at 12.30, my lord. Mr. Partho Pratim Bhattacharya. Is leading me in this matter, my lord. But the succession said to be, oh, he is not here. Succession has been granted. Hmm? Is granted. 
one of my daughter is not filing the not the objecting to Lord grant of Lord or disbursal of Lord the amount pursuant to the succession certificate. Some settlement can't be arrived at. But there's no question. Lord, it is two third, one third. I'm no, the no. mother. Mother and daughter are fighting because other he problems. He has lodged the FIR against the mother and the other sister. The, the reason was Lord that not the certificates but kept in one of the bank lockers. The allegation in the FIR which they have annexed, your lordship will find the frivolity of it. But they say that they have been taken out Lord, without her consent. I deposited that before the court. The court, Lord, on the basis of that, Lord, on a contested order, Lord, passed a succession Lord, uh, order. I was compelled to file a partition suit. I got a degree there also. Mm. Now, Lord, moment Lord, I got the succession Lord, order and I asked the bank, Lord, they, on the strength of Lord, the criminal complaint, Lord, got the police to issue a 102 notice, freezing my bank account. I'm 78 years, Lord, I need Lord, money for treatment. The second writ petitioner, the sister, my client, she is a cancer survivor. She needs money for her treatment. And her one-third money is secured by the court. I'm not touching on that. And the court has said if they want, yes. they can give it to Yes. <clears throat> and all that they are trying to Lord, say is Lord, the scuttle so that Lord, I don't survive. And the court has given adequate protection to them. I'm Lord, I'm, I should some Miller I tender my unqualified apology. Miller, no, I... no, no. Now, the uh, only thing I, I submit to my Lord, Distribution of the shares. I cannot stand in the way. Kindly take into consideration. But the judgment which has been passed by the learned trial court, this judgment cannot stand because the criminal proceeding which is pending, the entire effort is to take the money and to make it a, a particular formality. The criminal proceedings becomes a formality because there will be only Miller taking of time. Uh, where is the charge sheet? Okay. Well, I am I'm, I'm just uh, indicating to my lords, my lord, your lordship may kindly consider that so far as... Page 16. Page, my lord, I'm sorry, my lord, I... Your lordship may say page 15 and thereafter, my lord, page 16. Page, page 15. 15 is, my lord, the gist of, my lord, the complaint. My lord, I am... Kindly see the frivolity. My lord, I am submitting, my lord, that the, I suppose the first information report is at page 14. The, the complaint on the basis of which there was institution of the case or the FIR, that is at page 15. And Millard, your lordship may kindly consider the charge sheet at page 16. But then... And, and one thing more may I submit. Milad, uh, I am to I am instructed, Milad, this kindly take into consideration, Milad, that the read petitioners will not approach the magistrate court. That was rejected. That was rejected. But then and the, there was also a prayer for defreezing. Uh, but the magistrate has got no jurisdiction to defreeze it. No, in so in so you had filed a petition under 482 and it was Milad, rejected. Uh, just uh, your lordship may kindly consider, Milad. But then uh, the learned judge has said that uh, uh, a succession certificate has been issued. Yes. Which binds the inter-parties. Yes, yes. Because it is not against the whole world. But that certificate has not been challenged by your client. So therefore, he says, two-third to these two, one-third to you. Milad, I am submitting that. And uh, only in respect of this fixed deposit of one lakh and... Uh, yes, yes. One, 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 one crore, crore and uh, 28 lakhs. One, one crore and 28 lakhs. Yes. Not with regard to the other assets. Milad, I, I am think this is a very fair and balanced order. Milad, I am submitting, Milad, kindly take into consideration so the order it, of the learned single judge. clear, by virtue of this direction, your, uh, your uh, uh, criminal case, it will have no bearing on the trial being conducted by the concerned <laughs> court in respect of the criminal uh, uh, charge sheet which has been filed and this will be sort of a yeah, sort of a working arrangement where you take one third the mother and the other sister to that at the outset I told my lords that in respect of taking to one third by me and two third by them I but say my lord they are cannot that, this cannot I am this direction will no manner impinge upon your rights during the criminal trial but my lord your lordship may kindly that consider where clear. the particular appellant as well as the respondents decide, will they, Milord, attend the particular proceeding? 
then warrant of arrest will be issued. Miller, they kindly, have first kind... blood, uh, warrant of arrest. I got a but, stay uh, from that, the court. That was kindly similar. I subject to correction. But uh, all sorts of harassment are not taken up by my daughter, this daughter. And uh, what that fell from your lordship has been taken care of at paragraph 20 at page 13 by the trial court even. Miller, uh, kindly see. This, that the observation uh, will not Miller, uh, affect in any way Miller, the investigation and the trial. Investigation in any but way is how over. The criminal proceedings, Millard, will become an idle formality. We will protect that. Because, Millard, oh, you... she will also have some money to fight the criminal. Millard, what, what is happening is that, that, that the main money or the main Millard interest was in respect of the money. Money, one particular succession certificate obtained. Thereafter, Millard, since Millard, there was a criminal proceeding pending. Therefore, Millard, they did not proceed with that. They came up to this honorable court. Filed a red petition, then Miller obtained an order that yes, you take two third, you take one third. Therefore, the main purpose for which this approach was made before this court, but, uh, that, that was done. No, that was the share. Uh, uh, now, Miller, the... I also consider this aspect. Can the read court no, no, which... go into this aspect of the matter? If your lordship go into the merit, I was of the seeking matter. a direction on the bank. The bank, Miller, that is the succession certificate. Lord, that they have not annexed, but I have uh, annexed it with the uh, uh, page 33 of Lord, the writ petition. But I'll give you a lot, Shim, Lord. Page 33. I'm, I'm submitting a copy of the for my lords. But your lordship will have one copy. I mean, Duto Diyadi. Duto Page number, sir. Lord, page 33 is not the certificate. And look, the order is at page 28, the succession order. The only mistake committed is the father left behind so much of money. <laughs> If suppose he has blown he off is everything, staying at America he, and she is fighting case wife, from no, there. If he had taken his wife for an international cruise, huh, and visited so. abroad every uh, every year thrice, and blown off all the money, where this sister will fight? Where this daughter will fight? Mistake committed by this old man. They are not. They will not be grateful that he has left behind so much of money for them. After all, uh, the mothers are how long she is going to be there, and the other sister is supposed to be a cancer survivor. And as long as the succession certificate has not been set aside in the manner known to law, it binds your client. And there is also a partition decree, page twenty-eight. And this asset forms part of the schedule of assets. No, no the succession is different, and no, the partition is partition respect is of two in respect house. In respect of the immovable property. Yes. And who is in possession of the house? But uh, Sheila Mujum, that is the mother. 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 And the elder sister resides at a, a, blood, a USA and she is fighting the case through a power of attorney. One of my clients presently resides at Canada, but she comes here very That's often. The, the other daughter. Other daughter. The younger daughter, my client. And the mother resides here. So two daughters, no sons. No sons. It's a. No, we'll you lot he'll protect kindly... your interests, sir. That's it. Yeah. Let them, do, you take one third. You are in the US, you can't repatriate these funds also. This will be lying in some bank account here, getting 6%, 4% interest. And uh, how much will one third work out to the? About 45 lakhs. 45 yeah. lakhs. Please convert it into euros. It's nothing. Probably your client will give that as a pocket money to her children. <laughs> 30, 40 lakhs, nothing. We will protect your interest, saying that this will no manner impinge your client's uh, right in the criminal proceedings. And the court will we proceed. kindly ensure the presence of the particular persons in the criminal case and, and nothing more. I have nothing Look, to This say. is the entire intention that is not coming out. Kindly, Mr. Kindly, the problem is, kindly consider, my lord. Your kindly, client is fighting a proxy litigation. No, I am submitting your lordship. So, kindly he, consider that in a criminal proceeding. He has to get into the top. And then she has to depose. She is the de facto complainant. Yes. Okay. So she has to depose. She has to be cross-examined. She has to be available. And you know, no, Alipur judges court 
um, what is the pressure so i i know but millet you equally you equally millet your logic will be balancing two sides logic will not be correlated to one side mother will always be attend i am submitting the, that if the presence of all the parties are not being made in the criminal proceeding then millet what will be the fate that the court will take care the court knows and millet the party can enforce attendance the court knows its power how to enforce attendance of the accused or enforce attendance of any other parties if any third party has to be uh, summoned court can issue summons you know, kindly kindly indicate that because why i am saying because if there is an order of the court miller with my very little experience i submit no, that, rich experience what no, 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 i i submit that that miller uh, no could no no court below will take upon itself task of doing anything after any direction is passed by this honorable court that is my only thing two third one third i say miller i i leave it to the court but kindly ensure the presence but that paragraph 20 page 13 the learned trial court has also lord given that protection to them this but that fell from your lordship please come this intra court appeal but only one thing when uh, i may i when i appear for the bank but i have nothing to say so far at the okay. merits are concerned kindly takes paragraph we will indemnify for you No, my lord. I I have I have nothing to lose, nothing to win here. But kindly takes paragraph twelve of the impugned order. My lord, here it has been observed that there is no, uh, that there was no specific order of freezing of the bank account. My lord, uh, my only submission is perhaps that the specific order is not required. My lord, under section one zero two, lordship knows it's only a report which has to be given to the magistrate. Only has to be reported. Any other evidence that was not even said that the magistrate has no jurisdiction. We will affirm that. So that you are protected. Well, Lord, I I have nothing. Well, Lord, only this, this may create a precedent. Only only to that extent, Lordship will kindly. Well, and what was the rank of the appellant in the writ petition? He was respondent number two. The, the respondent Lord, number Lord, 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 uh, respondent number eight. Uh, no, I'll just not check and. Yes, um, Lord, uh, respondent number five. R five. R five. The fifth respondent in WPA. Two triple two one of twenty twenty four is the appellant in this appeal, being agreed by the order and direction issued in the said writ petition by the impugned order dated fourteen three twenty twenty four. The appellant is the daughter, elder daughter of the first respondent writ petitioner, and the sister of the second respondent. Second writ petitioner. Matter concerns a fixed deposit lying with the third respondent bank, namely Bank of India, which is stated to be to the tune of rupees one comma twenty eight comma twenty nine comma seven zero three, together with accrued interest. The at uh, at the instance of the appellant, a criminal case has been registered against her mother and sister, who have been arrayed as accused, and the matter is now uh, arrayed as accused in charge sheet number seventy seven of twenty twenty on the file of the Chief Judicial Magistrate Alipu. The matter is when uh, the trial is yet to begin. it is not in dispute that the respondent uh, res uh, respondents 1 and 2 the writ petitioners had applied for grant of succession certificate under the provisions of the indian succession act 1925 and the same has been granted by order dated 28 september 2022 the learned single bench taking note of the peculiar facts and circumstances of the case has directed that the amount which is lying as fixed deposit with the bank of india be disbursed to the writ petitioners comma they being entitled to two third of the said amount together with the accrued interest and the remaining one third to be paid to the appellant slash fifth respondent if she so desires to receive the same or to be retained in the by the bank in the same account the appellant's grievance appears to be that by virtue of such an order 
the appellant's rights in the criminal case which is pending before the chief judicial magistrate Alipur would be affected. The learned single bench has rightly not ent entered into the realm of the criminal proceedings as it would be beyond the jurisdiction of the writ court to do so. The learned writ court, Kama in our view, rightly took into consideration the succession certificate which has been issued by the concerned authority to which the appellant is a party and the said certificate continues to remain valid as on date. Therefore, we find the order and direction issued by the learned writ court to be an equitable order, more so considering the relationship of the parties. However, we are conscious of the fact that the order and direction should not be in any manner used by the writ petitioners to advance their case before the criminal court. This appears to be the genuine apprehension of the appellant as expressed by the learned advocate appearing for the appellant before us. Therefore, we hasten to add that the order and direction issued by the learned writ court, which in our which in our opinion is just and equitable, cannot be placed reliance upon by the respondents to defend themselves in the pending criminal case, comma uh, pending before the uh, learned chief judicial magistrate Alipur. <clears throat> so far as the freezing of the bank account is concerned, comma uh, we find the observations slash findings rendered by the learned writ court to be fully justified, as uh, fully justified, and also the observations with regard to the jurisdiction of the magistrate uh, to consider the prayer for defreezing of the account which the learned writ court has rightly held that the magistrate does not have jurisdiction to decide the rights of parties to deal with the property in question. Thus, we find no good grounds to interfere with the order and direction issued by the learned writ court and simultaneously uh, uh, making an observation that the findings uh, rendered by the learned writ court shall not be used as a defense by the writ petitioners in the criminal pending criminal proceedings or any other civil proceedings uh, which may be pending between the parties or to be initiated at a later point of time. The uh, respondent bank is directed to disburse the amount in terms of the directions contained in paragraph 18 and 19 of the impugned order within a period of two weeks from date. Lord, the advocate appearing for the appellant submitted that the court should issue certain directions to ensure the presence of the respondents 1 and 2, comma, the writ petitioners before the criminal court. Admittedly, the appellant is not residing in India and she is being represented by a power of attorney agent and uh, power of attorney agent who is a resident of Kolkata. Who is a resident of Calcutta? Um, and the affidavit has been sworn to by the said person, namely Prasanta Kumar De. The second respondent slash writ petitioner is also not a resident of India and said to reside in Canada. No, not I reside here also as well as in Canada uh, where my husband is not permanently residing in Kolkata. And I am instructed that she declined from Mr. Mujinder. Uh, Mukherjee Milad uh, uh, resides in Canada. This is I say Canada. so. Her husband works Not there. She comes and goes. She came last month. Resident in Kolkata, but frequently travels from Canada to Kolkata. So far as ensuring the presence of the accused well, is concerned, American citizen, huh? it is for the criminal court to American. do so. And in the present proceedings, we will be exceeding our jurisdiction if you make any observations in this regard. Next. I'm grateful, Mulat. 
serial number 13. Physical resemblance Judgment Lord has laid down the law that a licensee who has got a license under excise license has no right. He learned a judge proceeded on the basis that uh, there is no fundamental right to carry on business in liquor shop. That's correct. But then they forgot that that is if the if the state goes dry, decide policy, you know, they're dry. I cannot say that you must give me an excise license. I have no fundamental right. But you know, if the court confers when the state confers me a right by granting a license, I will have such rights as are applicable to me under the excise law. Namely, right to apply for renewal, etc. etc. Now this kind of this proposition of law should not remain on the on a on record before in a court of record. This is, can you take the judgment? Okay, bring it straight to the ability, my lord. May I just say something? My lord, the matter which my learned friend is moving, my lord. I think there is a leave to appeal and a condemnation of delay. That's something. My Lord said correction. last time it has been thrice they have said condemnation of delay. If you want to see the merits, then you come to the question of condemnation of delay. No, the leave to appeal also has to be heard out, my Lord. Yes. Whether he can prefer an appeal where the rate petition is still pending. Let's take that point. So, my Lord, that, that is, point. is his petition. So, I am only saying, my Lord, Let if he goes through the merits of the case, I mean. No, he... The present appellant was not a party. No, no. Hmm? The appeal which my learned friend is moving from Justice Boshak's order, my lord, that, my lord, he was not a party. But if suppose that judgment affects his right. But, but his writ petition is still pending. Petition. But an order also. Right? And he has got an order there. What remains of a writ petition? If but then that, that, that is the law that the Boshak pending holds, writ petition, your lawyer then, can call for the writ suppose, petition. Suppose that writ petition is disposed of in terms of the very same order. Same. Then appeal. This uh, leave application becomes infructuous. Yes. Now, Malad, unnecessary. There's a batch of writ petitions filed by the licensees. Now, Milad, as is Boshak, um, dismissed on the ground, there's no fundamental right to maintain uh, the this petition. Mm. From that, Milad, a batch of appeals were prepared, which was this appeal paper. Those appeals were pending, and were and my uh, uh, petition was not being taken up because that is. And where are those appeals? This, those appeals have been dismissed for default. Oh. Then they came to court that they didn't know that this is default. Give me leave to appeal and condemn delay because that that proposition no, of law. Instead, if suppose you can mention before the single bench and say hmm. that the writ petition may be disposed of in terms of this common judgment. Hmm. Against that order, if you come, you are within time, no condemnation of delay, no leave is required. And uh, rightfully, you will be able to contest all the grounds. That's, that, as well as that may be one approach. Let kindly see whether this judgment, which has been, which, uh, which will be binding on all single bench. True, but then well, the, the right. present... What argument should I make? What argument can I make? 
when the court single bench hey, hold that's it was like hold your license has no right no very true sir your writ petition is pending if that writ petition is disposed of in terms of this common judgment mm -hmm. that against that order if the very same grounds you urge before us we will consider it in this no, question of condemnation delay so only when when you should consider it at the first stage if you will ask defer consideration at the later stage defer consideration but why not now what change in the way can you mila see the judgment let's see the judgment below what happens to the writ petition filed by the appellant hmm. it is still pending suppose the writ my decision has become infractious for all purposes no no it has to be dismissed well your writ petition has to be dismissed in terms of this judgment hmm. giving a cause of action to file an appeal see suppose you had not filed a writ petition then he has a right to speak then he can sorry well sir suppose you had not filed a writ petition right and based on this decision hmm. this uh, the excise authorities take action against the licensee then you can say see look sir my rights are being affected by a judgment to which i was not a party hmm. please grant me leave rightfully we will grant you leave instead we adjourn this matter by a week you uh, get the writ petition disposed of hmm. we'll make an observation and uh, file a, another memorandum club it all this applications will dispose of with the same grounds of appeal we'll hear the appeals yes yes that's the okay. name yeah. that's that, that, what but, is the writ petition number it will number to the one six out there should be two writ petitions no? it's paragraph 10 of no, the no, 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 no. 16265 but it is 16265 w of 2019 161626265 w in brackets mallet of 2019 however mallet this has been filed by 12 petitioners and i don't know mr uh, whether my learned here the appellant is raju ghosh only one of them seven oh seven he is the writ petition number 7 in that writ and why two appeals item 13 and 18 and the, the subsequent order but well, may i just assist you mallet there is a subsequent order subsequent. where mallet there was a challenge mallet to that mallet the deletion of the 4q policy and there is a policy mallet of temporary license being granted okay now that was challenged when that was challenged mallet by my learned friends mallet there justice mantha held that because of the order of justice boshak he has also found that it is not maintained and dismissed their writ petition so no, that is mat 847 yes mallet that so that will uh, that will be survived that, that will survive that survive only thing is if you get 16265 of 2019 disposed of in terms of common judgment then probably mat 740 may not be required required a fresh appeal can be taken up so that no delay and i have only one point with humility i submit mallet subject to what mr uh, mitra says mallet the first appeal from justice boshak mallet that was on a point that whether this period should be extended because this period came into a hiatus because of a election election now mallet that point mallet no you actually wrong actually wrong if he then wants to keep license, that picture, no. my license after 19 days of operation only 19 days operation was suspended by the excise commission until further order on the ground that general elections impending that's what i said no 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 and there's a order there's election commissioner one that should be done why if the, that was the policy of election commissioner or order then he suspended all licenses but order of suspension was only one category of license granted under rule 4q all other licenses are operative number one no order of election commission has seen the light of the day number three if election is on the ground of election a license can be suspended on specified dates two dates and the election law not indefinitely so well my unfortunate client Who spend all the money and sister in and could enjoy the license for 19 days only? What was the total license period? License period is six months. Six months. Within that, renewal is. A permit was filed. That please um, condone the suspension period and extend the license. So the prayer sought for in the writ petition was to quash the order of suspension. Yes. Permit you to suspension operate. Suspension order was. That's and correct. And the next writ petition for. That's when I will be quashed. No, let us. No, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Suspension order. Uh, please I, take down, sir. 
common order in mat number 1743 why can't we get to it so try my clear you will in 740 of 2023 and 847 of 2022 uh, we have heard so on so mat number 740 of 2023 has been filed by one mr raju ghosh seeking leave to file an appeal against the common judgment and order in wp number 17024 within bracket w of 2019 which were dismissed by judgment dated 27th september 2019 however the fact remains that the that mr raju ghosh is one of the writ petitioners in wp 16265 within bracket w of 2019 <clears throat> which is now which is still pending before the learned single bench and has not been disposed of in terms of the common judgment dated september 27 2019 therefore the uh, the up, the proper course to be adopted by the appellant is to get the writ petition disposed of in terms of the common uh, judgment dated september 27 2019 and and if, if aggrieved by the said order Uh, and an, an appeal could be preferred against the said order so that yeah. the question of granting leave to the appellant to file an appeal could not arise this course suggested by the court to the learned senior advocate appearing for the appellant has been well accepted and the learned advocate on record would submit that they will take steps to get the writ petition disposed of in terms of the common judgment dated september 27 2019 and file an independent appeal and file a separate appeal against the said order so that the same can be heard along with these cases list the matter after 2 weeks yes. but number 13 may also come hmm may also come on the same day and mallet may be filed the affidavits which were directed mallet so the lordship copy yes, yes all given what what is that affidavit sorry mallet like, what is this affidavit and the affidavits in the mallet the condemnation of delay and mallet the special leave to appeal affidavit in opposition filed by the respondents in uh, mat 740 of 2023 in can number 2 of 2023 in and the can number 3 of 2024 in mat 740 of 2023 is taken i am very grateful to you wait a minute uh, 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 yes sir grateful man copy you gave to us but i have given copies i mean file reply they have first time when the state has done everything must be reply if no no they have filed the reply and they have also filed the reply they have filed the reply Oh, once when well, this no, no, what's is, this up the fresh appeal comes i know malet it becomes interest but i only said this malet because or else it would open a floodgate again but and being a state malet but uh, uh, keeping the facts aside sir okay if suppose a license license is not transferable hmm. there is no automatic renewal for a license unless the rule provides so hmm. even assuming the rule says that the licensee is entitled to apply for a renewal Hmm. every such renewal is a fresh grant right at best yeah, the licensee yes. can seek for remission of the license fee correct you can apply for renewal, renewal right to apply for renewal and which is to be considered in accordance with law because in mining leases hmm. honorable supreme court has uh, uh, granted uh, directions for extension mm -hmm. where, where due to certain force major conditions or vis major condition the lessee who has been given a right to exploit mineral where there was a transfer of possession of the property to the lessee licensee there is no transfer there the supreme court says regarding the unutilized period let us say 3 months 6 months 1 year suppose there was riotous situation no access extreme weather conditions he couldn't operate the mines supreme court has extended but when it comes to licenses for min, uh, for uh, winning or raising minor minerals which is not a lease where the right over the property 
is uh, retained by the state and the licensee is granted uh, license uh, let us uh, i don't know here what is the policy regarding river sand from uh, in my uh, home state the government retains the control and a license is given for 40 lorry loads and the public works department monitors the thing but it doesn't monitor mm -hmm. in the true sense um, 400 lorry loads will go so there it is not a lease it is only a license issued uh, and a transport permit is granted where he pays the senior age fee uh, uh, no, not royalty senior age fee mm -hmm. and uh, some lifting fee or compensation fee so but this is a case license under Miller Bengal excise license Bengal excise act and that gives the right to the licensee to apply for renewal and there are rules con uh, uh, laying down under what circumstances renewal can be refused that, that and that is Boshak has held that licensee has no right not under 4Q, yes. that is the that submission of the state. state. That, that is one thing. And that is why 4Q was done. Huh? That is what like a 4Q people. Hmm. Are... These are the 4Q people. Man. No, no. 4Q oh, only. Oh, no. What are you doing? 4Q is the cat. Can you, can you, can you really think of excise, uh, the election commissioner on the ground of election with direct suspension of only one category of license and remaining all that their majority license are operative and the card is being sold. Mr. Total, but, Mr. as it rightly fell from your lordship, my lord, the period has expired. Whatever was was 4Q. If they want, before, my lord, whatever they are saying today, my lord, it's a suggestion that they have no damages. The period expired yeah. during the period of suspension. You my lord, you don't suspension get Suspension continued. Uh -huh. And when after the period, ex period was, period of license expired, then suspension order or reconsidered. And they decided we shall not grant you. We apply, right. you shall consider. As a policy, my lord, 4Q provision was done away with. Fact, fact the atrocious. But we that is a challenge. I, they will have to first overcome I, that. Item 13 will, will be on the. And my lord, may I say this? There are several orders of the single bench where my lord, the deposit which was made for 4Q, my lord, the order was passed that that deposit will be used if they want to make an application for a fresh license. So that's my learned friend is wanting, so no, this is wanting to write my lord, a temporary license under 4Q for the purpose of renewal. I am not in the matter. I do not know. He appeared. Right. But if that's been... I'm very good. Oh, that's been so all wrong. Been. Next. Okay. Come four. back after. Uh, uh, serial number 14 and 15. My lord, I am for the, I'm for the petitioner, my lord. Mr. Yes, and this, huh? Yes, Mr. Shamim, what is this? Blood, uh, this is a case of that death of uh. blood, young boy blood at the instance of the police blood, according to us. And what are we to do today? Blood, uh, but who appears for? Mr. Bhattacharya is leading me, blood, and advocate is representing. Now the advocate has changed by this time. Mm. Blood, I can serve notice and come back tomorrow, blood. Uh, the learned advocate for the appellants um, slash petitioner is directed to serve notice in the office of the learned ground pleader hmm? so that the state can be represented in the matter. List next Monday, same position. Next, Great. 14 and 15. Real number 16. Lordship, I am appearing on behalf of the appellant, Lordship. Well, yes. I am appearing in behalf of Yes. The Lordship, in this matter, Mr. Devnath Ghosh is appearing. Uh, he is held up, is it? He is on his way, Your Lordship. Kindly make it pass over for... Respondent, you are ready? Uh, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Your Lordship. Lord, she has heard a substantial. Mm. Lord, there is a banning of business, Millard. I appear for Eastern Coldfield. And last occasion, I think, uh, yes, banning Leonard three years, major, three years is the maximum period. Millard, from the date of the order, Millard, one and a half years has already gone. 
Millard, we are up in appeal. Millard, in the meantime, arbitration clause has been invoked, and Millard, Section 11 application is Millard filed before the court. So that is where we stand today. Millard, the law. I think then there is no urgency in the matter. Millard, uh, there's a banning of business. Millard, there is no stay. No, no. I appear for the appellant. I was Millard arguing for the purpose of stay, Millard, or setting. Oh, you are arguing correctly. <laughs> so, Red petition was allowed. Red petition was allowed at the Millard at an interim stage without calling for affidavits. So, Millard, the papers were not there, Millard. But the parties agreed that all papers are before the learned judge. It so, it is, Millard, something, an allegation, Millard, that without calling for affidavits. Very there. well. You proceed. Not First, there. you submit. No, no, please. But would appear from the order impugned. Possible, Millard. All right, then we'll take it up next week. Yes, very well. Mm -hmm. Well, the only problem, well, let me say Has this. gone file a section 11 on the self same contract. All right. Next week, same position. Yes. Well, let, uh, may I only say this? <laughs> well, let, uh, order of learned judge gets frustrated. Do not take me, I miss, well, let, uh, directed for quashing of all the proceedings, including my banning. And, well, let, all further effect, including well, let, release of my old dues. Uh, no, no, that, that is, is not the order. Before. Only the banning order is that correct. Now, Millard, Millard, Lordship knows well as a banning. Ba banning is a civil Millard. death. Millard. And Millard, Millard, after the order passed by the learned judge, more and than a year has been passed. Mr. Basu, please, you will have your say. Kindly, if the matter has been adjourned, you will have your say there. Kindly. No, Millard, what I say, Millard, is only. Uh, well, uh, so, if if, if, if commences, Millard, some precedence, Millard, in the next week. Number 17. Next week it will reach. I am grateful, Lordship. Mallard, in this matter, Mr. Shoikot Rai Chaudhary is appearing on behalf of the respondent numbers 5 to 9, being the PCC and being the main answering respondent. Due to personal difficulty, he could not... He can't it. come today. My Lord, uh, My apprehending Lord. their usual prayer for adjournment, My Lord, I've prepared a list of dates regarding number of adjournments they have taken, My Lord. My Lord, anyway, I was on making my submissions. I have not completed it, my Lord. I am appearing for but the appellant, my Lord. Let, let them make the submissions. Let me be allowed to take notes on the... Everything, we have to retain it here. You will, she will finish and go. Then you will come after a week and say, uh, okay, keeps it to, yes, to tomorrow itself, my lord. My lord, they've they taken an adjournment on 10th of April, 18th of October, my lord, 12th of December, all of this last year, my lord. And this year, my lord, we had. But last occasion, nobody appeared. For two occasions, respondent didn't appear. My lord, uh, 15th January. Appearing is requested to inform the learned advocate who appeared for call of Coal India. My Lord, we have done that on last. We had started our submissions mm. after hearing us. My Lord wanted whole India to be given a notice because they were not appearing on that day. We have given notice to them. We have also prepared an affidavit of service regarding the notice given by us. Now you are appearing for BCCL. BCCL, my Lord. My Lord, we are for whole India. India Limited. So you all, both of you, appear on Wednesday. My Lord. List on Wednesday, same position. Bye. Next, my Lord. I have a small prayer with regard to item number 76. Mr. Rai Chudhuri is appearing in this matter also. 76, let it reach, you tell. My Lord, may I file my affidavit of service regarding yes, service, of service to the Next. Serial number 19 to 21. Lord. <laughs> Yes. Very Item number 20. And for the appellant, mm. the points are the same. Therefore, my Lord, may I be permitted to start with item number 20. 20. 20. But this field raises a very interesting question of law. Not as your lordships know, my Lord. There are provisions with regard to furnishing of security deposits by the users to the distributing company. Question, question that falls for consideration is you what? Give to item 25. 1, 2, 3, 5. Who's appearing for item number 19? Nobody is appearing. Appearing? My junior, Mr. Tonoj Chakraborty, he is also there all, in that matter. All right. All three appeals are the same. Yes. Against the yes, yes. same order. Yes.
Yes. Good. The Electricity Act 2003 is a self-contained code. Therefore, whatever rights are to be exercised generally are coming from 2003 Act. The challenge in this writ petition as also in this appeal is what are the ingredients of asking for security deposit? Four ingredients are really under challenge. First is electricity duty. Whether any security can be demanded by the distributing company by way of security of electricity duty. Now, electricity duty is to be paid to the government. And that is governed not by this 2003 Act. That is governed by another Bengal Act. So the electricity duty cannot be a component for the purpose of uh, calculating As the security deposit. Security deposit. Because this uh, um, electricity duty is under a state in act. State act, West Bengal Electricity Regulatory. No, 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 sorry. Bengal Electricity, Bengal electricity Duty Act. 1935. Yes. May I hand up two copies of the Act so that I can place the relevant provisions of the Act? 2003. No, no, no. Electricity, Bengal Electricity Duty Act 1935. Yes. Well, kindly come to a few sections. First is Section 3. Duty on units of energy consumed. Hmm. Subject to the provisions of subsection 3, there shall be charged, levied and paid to the state government a duty, herein after referred to as the electricity duty, on the net charge for energy consumed or the units of energy consumed, as the case may be, at the rate specified in the first schedule. Therefore, it's a right created in favor of the state, not to anybody else. Provided that during a period of one year with effect from First day of June 79, no electricity duty, net charge for energy consumed of units, when it's consumed as the case may be, shall be payable by a person other than a licensee who generates energy from a diesel generating plant. I am not troubling your lordship with these uh, subsections. Kindly come to section five now. Section 5. Yes. In the case of energy supplied by a licensee, the licensee shall collect and pay to the state government at the prescribed time and in the prescribed manner the electricity duty payable under Section 3 on the energy supplied by him to consumers, the duty so payable shall be a first charge on the amount 
recoverable by the licensee for the energy supplied by him and shall be a debt due by him to the state government. Therefore, the state government is delegating this power to collect to the license. Or to collect. They are not the ultimate beneficiaries that I shall use it. Kindly see, provided that the licensee shall not be liable to pay the duty in respect of any energy supplied by him for which he has been unable to recover his dues. So if you are unable to recover your dues, then what licensee has? No liability. Next. In the case of energy supplied by the state government, the consumer shall pay to the state government at the prescribed time and in the prescribed manner. The electricity duty payable under Section 3 on the energy supplied by the state government to the consumer, where any person fails or neglects to pay at the prescribed time and in the prescribed manner, the amount of electricity duty due from him, the licensee of the state government as the case may be, may without prejudice to the right of the state government to recover the amount under Section 8 and after giving not less than seven clear days notice in writing to such person, cut off the supply of energy to such person and may for the purpose exercise the power conferred on a licensee by subsection 1 of section 24 of the Indian Electricity Act 1910 for recovery of any charge or sum due in respect of energy supplied by him. The licensee shall be entitled to the cost of collection of the duty to rebate of such percentage as may be determined by the state government on the amount of duty collected and paid by him under subsection 1. In the case of energy, other than energy supplied by a licensee or the state government, the person who generated or supplied such energy shall pay to the state government at the prescribed time and at the prescribed manner the electricity duty payable under Section 3 on units of such energy. So this is five. Now kindly come to Section 8, which finds mention in Section 5, subsection 2. But uh, one small query, sir. Yes, sir. Normally, the security deposit is calculated on a presumptive basis. But here, suppose the person applies for a fresh service connection, the connected load is assessed based upon the requirement for that particular industry. And the connected load is sanctioned. And once the connected load is sanctioned, if suppose they are going to operate for three ships, an average consumption is calculated and this deposit is arrived at. In the event, after six months on review, if the consumption has doubled, then you need to step up the security yes, deposit, yes. No which is once again on present to basis. Yes, there is no dispute about that. And, uh, that's here. and, if, and the security deposit um, has to be computed based on some quantum. Yes. And uh, I think the test would be whatever is receivable by the licensee will be the basis. Yes. No, no I, I'm not disputing. Whatever terminology you may suppose it may be cess, it may be tax, it may be duty, it may be charges, it may be surcharge, whatever nomenclature is given. Yes. The licensee as a uh, envisaged under uh, uh, rule uh, section 3 and section 5, he has to collect it on behalf of the state. The licensee has got a duty. Suppose his dues himself is not recoverable, you can't insist, the state can't insist them to pay the money. So it should be based on all receivables or collectibles by the licensee. Now question is, receivable or collectible? 
I'm saying that collectible will not come under it. This is my submission. Receivable, yes. Now the question is, if I may say so with uh, great disrespect and humility, the 2003 Act, being a self-contained code, whatever power of the license is there to uh, charge security deposit, will emanate from that. Hmm. Not otherwise. If that act does not permit, then you know you can't charge security deposit for something which is not referable to that act. I shall show you a lot of the provisions in the 2003 Act regarding security deposit and the rules, the regulations related thereto. Yes. So I have raised three, five, and eight of. Oh, I eight I have not placed. I'm sorry. Eight. If Lord Shiv sees section eight. 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 Uh, Recoveries. Any sum due on account of electricity duty or interest, if not paid at the prescribed time and in the prescribed manner, shall be recoverable as a public demand. In case of energy supplied by a licensee, at the discretion of the state government, either from the consumer or subject to the proviso to subsection 1 of section 5 from the licensee. Kindly remember, the proviso says if you are unable to recover, then nothing is. Nothing is. A, A, in the case of energy supplied by the state government from the consumer, and B, in case of other energy from the person liable to pay such duty under subsection 4 of section 5, and in case of interest, from the licensee liable to pay such interest under Section 5A. Therefore, this is the provision for recovery. This act creates the right, provides with the remedy. So, not two things. One is it's recoverable under the Public Demand Recovery Act. The statute creating the right has given the remedy also, provided for the remedy also. Is it the sole remedy? No. Kindly come to section 5, subsection 2. One thing is recovery and one thing is compelling to pay. But the common denominator will be the how much units consumed. Consumed. I'm grateful to your lordship. It is exactly this is what I am. Therefore, that common denominator or whatever the base value has to be, that will be computed by the license. I shall show to your lordship whether it can be done otherwise than based on consumption. My submission is no. You can't say, well, I... Oh, that uh, under the Electricity Act, I think se section 74 or 75. Yes, I shall, I shall place that. I shall place that. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. <laughs> yes. 
But I shall show that. But I shall submit that irrespective of the consumption, whether you can charge it. It's relatable. I shall show you a lot of the relevant provision in Section 2003 Act and the regulations. Lord, if your lordship of this act, Bengal uh, Electricity Duty Act, Section 5, again, Lord, subsection 2, if your lordship is pleased to come to, where any person fails or neglects to pay at the prescribed time and in the prescribed manner the amount of electricity duty due from him the licensee or the state government, as the case may be, without prejudice to the right of the state government to recover the amount under Section 8. You all have seen that. And after giving not less than seven clear days notice in writing to such person, cut off the supply of energy to such person and may, for that purpose, exercise the power conferred on a licensee under, by subsection 1 of section 24 of the Indian Electricity Act 1910 for recovery of any charge or sum due in respect of energy supplied by him. So, there are two things. You recover the money, procedure is there. Another is someone not paying, they have a right to cut off the electricity. These are the two modalities said. This act does not speak of any security deposit or electricity duty. But uh, section 47 uses the word all monies which may become due to the distribution license. Become due to the distribution license. Under this act, number one, whenever we read this section, we say, Payable under this act, number one. And number two, it should be payable to the distribution. But this is a subordinate legislation. Which one? The I mean, uh, state legislation. No. Uh, this, the, the Bengal Excise Duty Act, yes. uh, which was amended in 2008 by the West Bengal Finance Act 2008. Yes. And uh, in this act, the obligation has been cast upon the Licensee and the licensee has been defined under section 2, subsection 3 to mean any person who is granted a license or who is deemed to be a licensee under section 14 of the electricity act yes. includes person who is exempted, etc. So, he so if the licensee is under an obligation in terms of section 5 to collect and remit it to the state government. And if he does not recover from me, then he is not liable. If he is not able to recover his dues. Yes. You please see subsection proviso. Yes, sir. The proviso to file. Yes. Provided the licensee shall not be liable to pay the duty in respect of any energy supplied by him, for which he is unable to recover his dues. His dues, therefore. So, therefore, for the consumption charges, if he is unable to recover his dues, he cannot be compelled with the state government to get this duty and pay it. Rather, he, they cannot be compelled to pay the duty. So, therefore, this act should be read along with the provisions of the Electricity Act 2003, which empowers the distribution licensee to require a security to be created, hmm, which may be determined in terms of a regulations framed out of this act for payment of payment to them, him, or the distribution licensee, all monies which may become due to him. Due to him. I'm sorry, it's due, must be due to him. The electricity duty is due to the state government. He's the collecting agent. He's the state is shall, the collect shall collect and pay to the state government. So it automatically see as a license as a, a consumer, 
where he remits that amount is of no concern. Who make who is the collection agent? It's a distribution licensee. And if he is the collection agent in terms of the state act, then it becomes a payment of monies due to him. Well, this money, not I am putting it this way, subject to not this is the interesting question. And this, As I say, no, no, this deposit carries interest, sir. Not, Will it, does it not carry interest? Uh, yes, sir. It carries interest. Yes. Assuming you close down the unit hmm? and you surrender your supply, saying that I don't require the supply any longer, then you are entitled to refund of the security deposit, less, of course, any dues which are to be adjusted and minus the administrative charges. So, question is. It's of security deposit. Under what heads can security deposit Re be charged? Regula regulations framed, yes, under, I shall, framed I, under uh, yes, section 47. I shall show you about Can you see? This book doesn't have the regulations. No, no. It's, it's, it's in the record itself. Not, yes, yes, we have an X. Oh, in the state petition, yes, it is sir. there. Yeah. Excel 31, 113. Kindly come to page one one three. Well, it, it starts at page one one one. Your Lord Shubil kindly get West Bengal Electricity Regulatory Commission, Kolkata, second April two thousand thirty. But I take your losses without wasting your losses time straight to the clause relating to security deposit. That's clause four. My lord, got page, it. Page numbers. Page one, one, three. Oh, yes. Security deposit. Subject to the provisions of the act, the distribution licensee may require any person to give security deposit with such licensee for an amount covering three months of estimated bills of consumption of electricity at the prevailing rates. The estimated consumption shall be based on 12 months uh, consumption of the previous period as on 1st April of each year or estimated consumption based on its application in case of the new applicant. So I'm not a new applicant. I'm existing applicant, a existing uh, uh, consumer. So, so it is subject to the provisions of the act and the license may require to give security deposit of three months of estimated be of consumption of electricity at the prevailing rates. So they it must have correlation with consumption
regulation 4.116 yes lord says all statutory levies like excise electricity duty 4.1 4. 4. Uh, page 110 sir 4.16 all statutory levies like electricity duty or any other taxes duties sex etc imposed by state government or central government or any other competent authority on sale of electricity shall be extra and shall not be a part of the tariff as you mean under these regulations. Therefore, this is not part of this tariff. I am grateful to your Lordship. Uh, Lord, I was going to draw your Lordship's attention to this. This is under 2011 regulation. Correct. So, Earlier, therefore, was... this, this will not form part of the tariff. Yes. Which the regulator commission will fix. But nonetheless, this is a levy to be passed on to the state government. Yes. Collectable by state. By, by, by license. By the license. Yes. So, therefore, it becomes, it should fall within the ambit of all monies which become due to them. Well, I shall, I shall, I shall uh, come to this. Let me just take your lordship to page 34 of the application so that your lordship may immediately you know, appreciate my points in its proper perspective. Kindly come to page 34, paragraph 8. The petitioner state, my lords have kindly got it, my lord. Page 34 is part of the read petition. Yes. The petitioner state that it be apparent from both the demand notice dated 9th May 2023 and the disconnection notice dated 7th May, 17th May 2023 that the DVC had incorporated electricity duty charges, differential ECM, and the demand charges for calculating the additional security deposit, although none of the components ought to have been considered for calculating the additional security deposit. Yes, DVC, in order to harass its HT consumers and extract unjustified security, has made such claim. So, these three heads, your lordships will have to consider whether they can be taken into consideration for the purpose of security deposit. Same lot. So far as demand charges are your lot you're seen under the regulation, it is relatable to electricity consumed. Security is relatable to electricity consumed. Now demand charges, even if I don't use it, no consumption, I have to pay the demand charges. So that's nothing relatable to Consumption as such, if the consumption is zero, then the demand charges will remain. And I'll take a lot of you to all the, the ingredients of all these three. Electricity, due charges, duty charges, differential ECR, and demand charges. These are the three grounds. Other heads, I am not disputing. Other claim, I am not disputing. And no, 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 Hindi, Hindi. One more uh, class, sir. Page hundred and fourteen. Yes, Lord. 4.2.7 Distribution licensee may at any time appropriate such deposit in whole or in part in satisfaction of any sum legally due or owing by the consumer to the licensee. So, under the state enactment, this is a uh, duty which is liable to be paid by the consumer to the licensee who in turn has to deposit it with the state government. So will it not form fall fall I mean 
form part of the legally a sum legally due. Lord, if I may say so, which uh, greatest hmm. or has ceased without prejudice to any other remedy to the license to be Both these have to be hit together. And the duty is directly related to wisdom. Assuming the duty is fixed. A fixed amount, like a high tension consumer, his electricity duty will be 10 lakhs per month. That may be a different aspect where you are required to remit it to a particular head of account of the state government. But here it is directly relatable to the consumption. Well, that's, yes, that's my point. So once it is relatable to consumption, you cannot hive off this as a separate uh, uh, amount from the amount which are, uh, what is the language used? Payment to him of all monies which may become due to him. Him means the distribution license. It's not, I, I, I put it this so, way. So I therefore, put... it is very difficult to uh, remove this, extract this component solely based on the interpretation that the distribution licensee has a duty to remit it to the state government. What if they don't do it? That's up to the state government to do it. Yes. yes. That's what I say. But then how does the appellant say that it is not based, security deposit is not based on consumption of electricity? Yes. I tell you, I tell you, Lord, immediately. Oh, oh. I tell you, Lord, immediately. Not so far as electricity duty is concerned, that is under this act of 1935. Hmm. Here, Tarashi sees charging section is section 3. Duty on units of energy consumed. I put emphasis on the word consumed. Therefore, it has to be on the duty consumed, not consumable. Consumed. And it says, subject to the provisions of subsection 3, there shall be charged, levied, and Paid to the state government a duty, here I am to refer to as electricity duty, on the net charge for energy consumed or the units of energy consumed, as the case may be, at the rate specified in the first. But show. the consumer is entitled to give a bank guarantee also. That's a, yes, that's a different thing. In whose favor? Not in favor of the state government. No. So if the consumer gives a bank guarantee in favor of the distribution licensee, it presupposes that it's amount due and payable to the... This is question of bank guarantee. 
as such will not arise because no, it, there is an option yes i say there is I, an option to give a bank guarantee because in that event the state can recover it from the licensee they will not be absolved no the bank guarantee by the consumer will be in favor of the distribution licensee not the state government once you lost to be seeing the reg regulations page 113 4.2.3 the security deposit either in cash or bank guarantee shall not be required in case of supply of electricity is made through a prepaid meter it does not arise in our case no even the earlier clause will not apply in our case but earlier they were not uh, including this component yes, but... where is their affidavit in opposition that's why you are objecting but earlier this was not being charged for, for the purpose of uh, security deposit calculation so for the first time they introduced this and we question this that this is not on energy consumed you cannot do i continue not we we'll continue after lunch after the recess after lunch the same list will continue mm. so we will continue 230 we will assume 230 so let it be like this now see is the into the chino calculation should for is do I'm not forgetting that you buy it. You buy it. for the year. The first time in book, you know, a kind of money not practical.
very urgent. This matter may be placed as a special effects tomorrow or day after tomorrow. It's a fresh matter. Madam, this appeal has been filed in the year, month of uh, March, hmm. and this returnable date on 13th March 2024. But due to non availability of this bench, Madam, this matter could not listed matter. That's it. No. <coughs> Urgent matters, urgent matter, quantum matter, my lord, hard, and this personal appearance of the DRM is on 12th April 2024. That's why this is the urgent. You give it, you list it tomorrow. I have the, all the orders, my lord, copy of the order. Deep the orders. Hmm. Yes. May it please your lordship. <laughs> My lord, as I pointed out, earlier there was security deposit based on certain factors. New factors were sought to be introduced. I pointed out to your lordship relevant paragraph of the writ petition. So far as other components are concerned, we have no quarrel. Only three components are in question in this appeal. As I pointed out, one is the electricity duty, another is energy charge rate. Energy? Charge rate, ECR. It's also called Differential is here and demand charges. Yes, I was before the recess, making submission on electricity duty being included in the charges for security deposit. I put my case on a number of points. So far as electricity duty is concerned, I shall come to the others. Number one, electricity duty is a creation of an act of the state legislature and does not find place in the Electricity Act 2003, the All India Act. Yes. Therefore, corollary to this submission is if a right is created, the remedy by a statute, the remedy has to be found out within the four corners of the statute. That is, the statute should be construed in a Guide and remedy flows from the same source. Yes. Thirdly, the 2000 Act provisions, the Act being a self contained court, relate to matters which are covered by that Act. If something is not covered by the Act, then that is beyond the scope of the particular Act. Yes. And fourth is the provision of 2003 Act, being a central act, could not be incorporated in the Bengal Act.
and the regulations under the 2003 Act are for giving effect to the provisions of that Act. Therefore, the regulation cannot be said to have any effect on the Bengal Act of 1935. Now, I just hurriedly go through the relevant portions that I felt necessary for drawing a lot of attention to. Kindly come to page 103. That's 2011 regulation. Actually, if a lot of kindly come to page one one zero. Four point one six. All statutory levies like electricity duty or any other taxes, duties, says, etc., imposed by state government, so central government, or any other component, competent authority on a sale of electricity shall be extra and shall not be a part of the tariff as determined by the regulations. So, this tax, this is really in the nature of a tax. Yes. Now, therefore, this will be outside the tariff. tariff. And if it is outside the tariff, whether that can be taken as an ingredient or component of security deposit. Oh. Now, let I take your lordship to two sections of the two thousand three Act. First is section 47. Power to require security. This is very interesting in the sense. Power to require security is it says subject to the provisions of this section. That means anything said in this section is subject to the provisions of this section. A distribution licensee may require any person who requires a supply of electricity in pursuance of section 43. Now, not section 43, if a lot of sees, is the duty to supply on request. That means it relates to initial supply. When somebody applies, yes, give me electricity, then this provision will apply power to require security. 
may require who requires the supply of electricity in pursuance of section 43 to give him number one a reasonable security as may be determined by regulations for the payment to him of all bunnies which may become due to him in respect of the electricity supplied to such person. So it must be due to him, not due to any other authority. A tax is due to the state government. Yes. Now, I'm not kindly come to section 181. The State Commission may by notification make regulations consistent with this act and the rules generally to carry out the provisions of this act. Yes. So the requirement of a regulation is to be consistent with this act and to carry out the provisions of this act. So regulations cannot have anything to do with the, the State Act of 1935. So no recourse can be had to the regulations for deciding something coming under the Bengal Act of 1935. Your Lordship's pleasure was to discuss or, or question the, whether this is a subordinate legislation or not. Then principal act and subordinate legislation, obviously the principal act. This is, a in a state lease, it's item 53. Taxes on the consumption or sale of electricity. So, this is coming under this power, and Lord, the 1935 Act has been considered subsequently by our parliament and by our legislature, I don't say parliament, by state legislature, and certain amendments have been made there too. Yes. Another fundamental question that may fall for your Lordship's very kind consideration is, can there be a security on tax? If not, then Lord, 
no one gets into it. A security on tax. Therefore, this is another aspect of the matter. Now, Lord, I have taken your lordship to section 181. Kindly come to 181.2. Top clause. You. Methods and principles by which charges for electricity shall be fixed under subsection 2 of section 45. That can be provided because that's under this act. And next one, V, a reasonable security payable to the distribution licensee under subsection 1 of section 47. That's also under the act. Yes. Now, one more section and then I go to the other. Lord, kindly come back to section 47. Section 47. I said A, B, I have read already. Then, and if that person fails to give such security, the distribution licensee may, if he thinks fit, refuse to give supply of electricity. So it's a first instance. Refuse to give, if you fail to give security, and the security that can be given to a person who applies for supply of electricity under section 43. Not anybody else. So, 47 in my very respectful submission. One relates only to initial. Next is two. Now, the question is what? If an existing uh, 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 person, existing consumer, requires something which the supplier is given, where any person has not given subsection 2, such security as is mentioned in subsection 1, or I am on this or, the security given by any person has become invalid or insufficient. I am on this insufficient aspect. The distribution licensee may by notice require that person within 30 days after the service of the notice to give him a reasonable security for the payment of all monies which may become due to him in respect of the supply of electricity or provision of such line or plant or meter. Therefore, number one, if it is, becomes insufficient, ingredients cannot be changed. If the security becomes insufficient, yes, you have the power. But components of security deposit, ingredients of security deposit, that cannot be changed. New heads cannot be introduced. Under the existing head, yes, if it becomes insufficient, can it? Therefore, if the power comes from section 47, subsection 2, that empowers insufficient security to be made good, but not to change the components of security deposit. 
Não, melhor que... If your Lordship kindly comes to... But as I said, I have already pointed out to your Lordship that regulations are for the purpose of giving effect to the provisions of this act. Therefore, if this act does not say anything about electricity duty, regulations cannot encroach upon that field. Yes. Now, Milad. Even then, if your Lordship sees, again, page 113, I shall finish this aspect immediately. Page 113. Subject to the provisions of the Act. Therefore, if the Act does not make any provision, or anything contrary is there, then it will not have any say. The distribution licensee may require any person to give security deposit with such licensee for an amount covering three months of estimated bills of consumption of electricity at the prevailing rates. Therefore, security deposit has to be in respect of consumption of electricity charges. Yes. In case of new application, it says the estimated consumption shall be based on 12 months consumption of the previous period as on 1st April of each year. Or estimated consumption based on application in case of new applicant. Therefore, I am not a new applicant. Therefore, mine has to be based on consumption of the previous period as on such and such. Therefore, it has to be related to my consumption. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's not their case that your consumption has increased and therefore we are changing. Tax remains prescribed one on the, that statute. If the tax remains as it is under that statute, then you cannot ask for more security. Yes. Now, look. I so this is all about security deposit. Now, Milad, I go to ECR. ECR. Energy charge rate. I say for the purpose of calculating security, this has never been in the past included in the components and so far as energy charge rate is concerned it's not final and it is subject to the final decision of the central electricity trc if your lordship kind of sees page 155 Page 35 gives their lordship a history of how this has come. Paragraph 10, DVC has in had incorporated new component termed as differential is here and claimed an aggregate sum of rupees 60 lakhs 79,513 only on account of alleged differential cost of fuel in respect of own generation station for consumption month of July 2022. 
you know, it's, if it is based on consumption, then it has nothing to do with the cost of coal, cost of fuel. It's based on consumption. And if your lordship keeps that in mind, let us see, Lord, whether at all this differential ERC can be included for calculating security deposit. Uh, energy charge rate is an addition to the tariff order. If a lordship sees page 155, That's order of the East Regulatory Commission, 17-6-2022. Well, kindly come to, it starts there, kindly come to page 2 to 8. Seven point five. In addition to the tariff determined under this tariff order, DVC will be further entitled to additional sums towards enhanced cost of fuel and power purchase, if any, after the date. from which this tariff order takes effect. Thus, DVC shall compute the energy charge rate for their own generating stations as per formula given in CESC tariff regulations for any change in fuel price after the date of effect of this order and shall adjust the same in, uh, in the Adjustment to be made as per paragraph 7.4. The generation costs for own generating stations and power purchase costs are subject to adjustment in accordance with the tariff regulations on the basis of tariff order passed or to be passed by the CERC for the respective general units for the period such and such. So what you can do is you can enhance your rates because coal price has gone up. But my consumption unit remains the same. Consumption amount, charge bill amount will vary because cost has gone up. But when energy consumed, such and such unit, that remains the same. Therefore, there we if I may put this question to myself, any incorporation of this element for the purpose of security deposit? Security deposit being what? Energy consumed. Energy consumed, not on the basis of cost of energy consumed. Had it been cost of energy consumed, one might have said, well, cost has increased. Therefore, I can have security deposit on this. Well, next is, if a lordship kindly comes to Yes, I have said a class 7.5, I have placed before lordship. Yes. So far as a this is concerned, that is energy charge rate. I think, Lord, I need not 
make any further submission because if it is on the basis of unit consumed, large consumed, coal price has gone up, it does not enhance my consumption. May enhance my cost, but may cannot enhance my consumption. And security deposit can be asked for consumption. If they amend it, it amend it. But until amended, it remains as it is. So, not if fuel cost will have a coal or whatever fuel cost will have a di direct impact on the rate on charges not on rate the rate of Millard. per per kilo kilowatt of electricity generated in your own generating captive generating plant which you supply to the manufacturing plant so it will have a direct relation to the ultimate product which you produce. So kindly come to, even if I assume. So the word consume will have relevance. That's right. The, the Sorry, the uh, price of the coal will have relevance in respect of the energy consumed. Well, may I take your lordship to section 47 once? And that is why, uh, for example, motor vehicle tax, depending upon the cubic capacity of the vehicle. Not on the cost of petrol. Not on the cost of petrol. No. The cubic capacity of the vehicle will have a direct relationship to the mileage. And that will have a direct relationship to the cost of the fuel. That is why. The higher the cubic capacity, the more the motor vehicle tax. Now it's one-time tax. But the question is, the so I'm on the source of power. If the source of power that is that we have noted. Yes. If the source of power says not on you know, it was open to them to say on the cost of uh, electricity for the energy consumed. I understand. But that cannot be equated with, with energy consumption, the unit of energy consumption. Not, it should be. Because ultimately you will pass on this to the end consumer. You are a uh, steel plant. No, no, I am the end consumer. No, no. Cost of fuel. Yes. Cost of coal or any other fuel for your captive generation plant will ultimately if it goes up will ultimately be loaded on to the end product which you manufacture no, may i may i put it this way the cost will go up. May, 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 may i put it therefore this is a tax on that cost may, may i put it this way so source of power we have noted no no that's all I, may i put it this way i bow down to your lordship's observation that if there is uh, enhancement in the cost of coal then automatically there will be some enhancement in the generation of electricity and that will be reflected. So that will put me to a further electricity charge, not on units of consumption. Not on units of consumption. This is the difference. Language could have been on the cost of devolution, this is the difference. 
not if your lordship sees the language once more uh, whether i am making a submission which is in addition page uh, page 1 1 3 Subject to the provisions four point one, subject to the provisions of this act of the act, the distribution licensee may require any person to give security deposit with such license the for an amount covering three months of estimated bills of consumption of electricity at the prevailing rates. At the prevailing rates. Yes, the estimated consumption shall be based on twelve months consumption of the previous period. No, it's on consumption, not cost of consumption. Say I have consumed hundred units. Be based on hundred units. If the hundred units cost go up, then I have to pay electricity charges a higher amount. But that can't go into the security deposit. Then the regulation has to be amended. Yes. Therefore, so far as this is concerned, what my submission is, it cannot come in because the fuel cost going up. But we can have charge more amount. From me on account of charges, but that cannot. It's a fluctuating thing. It's a fluctuating thing. It goes up, may go down, but my security deposit does not go up and go down. It's something you calculate. Actually, I says this is a security deposit. If the tax goes up, certainly they can say, well, if tax is a component of security deposit, then. Tax has gone up. What can I do? Security deposit high. Otherwise not. But these are all submissions without prejudice to my contention that this has nothing to do with the Bengal Act, under which duty is levied. Next minute, I come to demand charges. Demand charges. Why it should not be included for calculating security deposit? Now, demand charges is not based on consumption. If it is not based on consumption, you can't have security for that. Which is charging provision? Demand charges. Demand charges. If your lordship can just come to uh, page. Uh, that also should form part of the tariff order. Yes. Yes, that was the first part of the tariff order. Sure. Kindly come to page one zero four. Amato illegal extra artists last number. It starts. Page, uh, can you come to relevant portion at page 108? 107.4.7. Yes. If a consumer consumes power in excess of his contract demand, he shall be liable to pay extra charges as stipulated below. If the highest demand of any non-TOD consumer, extra art, sir, extra art. oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Notwithstanding anything, page four point one zero, page one zero eight. Yes. Notwithstanding anything to the contrary, contained anywhere in these regulations, in case where no consumption of energy has taken place for any reasons whatsoever. Including disconnection of supply due to fault on the part of the consumer, but excluding instances of interruption in supply due to failure on the part of the licensee. The fixed charge or demand charge of a consumer, as the case may be, shall be calculated on the basis of the contract demand. That's the basis. Even if there is no consumption. Yes. So, security deposit is necessarily related to consumption. Hmm. But even if there is no consumption, this demand charge has to be paid. That is the contract. That's right. I'm not questioning that, but I'm saying that this cannot be included for the purpose of computing security deposit. It has to be on the basis of the contract demand. It will be calculated on the basis of the contract demand. No, this contract demand is directly relatable to consumption. No, your loss is absolutely right. If you, so far as this unit is concerned, 13,000 is the contract demand for reasons attributable to the consumer or a fault on behalf of the consumer if there is disconnection of supply. Not only disconnection. No consumption of energy. Has taken place for any reason whatsoever. You have not consumed anything. I have stopped my business. Yes. You switched it off. Till you are bound to. Yes. So this in effect means this contract demand is arrived at based on various factors which will be laid down in the tariff order. It, it in effect means it is a consumption. You are, you are deemed to have consumed 13,000 units or contract demand. What is the yeah, nomenclature they use here. Sample bill at page ninety three. Fine, I don't. I, I don't mind. Contract demand is thirteen thousand. So 
suppose for some reason you switched it off and thereafter you draw not only that you need to pay this contract demand for this period where you switched it off and probably additional charge for excess consumption which will be additional contract demand yes your lordship absolutely and this is relatable to consumption the question is whether it all it is that is the question it's a question the million dollar question is that well you knew the contract what is the contract demand i have not announced the contract demand so once your consumption exceeds the contract demand then then you have this additional demand charges otherwise you have the normal demand charges same for all the years of consumption but additional demand charges the tariff may be different that may be determined by the commission the regulatory commission question is again there is a question you lot we see you see that uh, there so much of uh, maths involved in this <laughs> page 108 not so much of math <laughs> adc uh, is equal to 0.2 into d act minus d count into dc may not anyway we will decide that legal issue that's right not in fact the signs are known to me as a student of signs mm -hmm. but i could recollect the calculation after so many years namely lot ah oh, page 110 contract demand is equal to yes 110 sir. actual consumption in unit divided by number of days in a year into 20 24 so therefore directly relatable to consumption definition the supply could actually to reach the lot if your lordship kindly sees it it is a supply good दामोदर वैली you you are also a generating company correct correct so there are private players yes, plus there are public uh, sector enterprises yes. you are a public sector yes huh? um and the consumption i'm sorry uh, generation capacity is decided on uh, state to state basis generation number and no on a state to state basis all put together private generating companies if you are even if you are a captive generating unit suppose there is excess energy which is generated you may wheel it to the grid with the permission of the electric regulatory commission and the distribution company state owned distribution company if you want to feed it in the state grid certain states in the country have got a policy that the energy generated within the state cannot be wheeled out of that particular state so that was a very draconian policy i struck it down <laughs> as a result what happened is these people who are generating units uh, due to some recession or like big industry, they reduce the scale they, of they shut shut shop or they reduce their production reduce the number of shifts etc as a result what what will they do so and one more thing is it is like uh, you shut the dam the dam can hold only that much of water the same principle applies that's what the engineer explained to it goes in the reverse direction if water goes in the reverse direction the plains get flooded agricultural lands get flooded here the entire system will be on fire that's why so if the reverse energy flow it goes back to your unit and you are on fire no if surplus energy is uh, the, uh, 
generated you know it has to be burnt out yes. it has to be burnt out it has out. to be consumed yes it has to be burnt you can't out. see you can't see that energy but you need to consume okay. if you don't consume it then it will be a, what is a live weapon in your hand that's right so it has to be burnt out now the point so is the state generating companies they'll be willing if you suppose you shut shop and you say my i will operate my cap to generate and plant i will feed it into the state grid they will readily accept not this way they will readily <laughs> accept but they will not pay you anything so i initiated so much action to wind up the tamil nadu state distribution company it's a company registered under the company act i said why so much action cannot be taken to wind up the company because they couldn't pay the dues they they couldn't pay the dues these generating companies yes, are yes. generating coal energy i mean uh, uh, wind energy um, uh, solar energy they were generating and the outstanding was close to around uh, at that time to 11 units it was about 14000 crores okay but the defense generally taken is public utility therefore should not that what to do we are bankrupt etc all right you go bankrupt we'll wind up we'll wind up and let the at, at that time ibc was not uh, notified it was still much later mother that came so uh, uh, i said all right we'll appoint the official liquidator let him take charge 48 hours 60 percent they settled. Well, that means they had the means to pay, but they were not paying. They were making a business, but they will that accept will... the energy. They will accept the energy, whatever you will. I don't know. Here, uh, there are a lot of people, like individuals, senior advocates, will own wind windmills, wind farms, electric seed generation, film okay. stars, film distribution companies, ice cream manufacturer. he's got nothing to do so there are certain uh, districts where the wind energy is tremendous and uh, they have created artificial forest to prevent top soil erosion in that they put up these huge windmills and uh, i hail from one of those districts and this energy is wheeled out and um, i mean wheeled into the state grid and you can sitting in kolkata you can own a windmill in tamil nadu state my lord i have tried a small thing uh. my lord to get my lord solar panels on the roof uh. because my lord lots of homes my lord in bangalore mm. my lord they have solar panels mm. it's not you don't what happens is you don't consume it you feed it onto the grid grid and there is a deduction in your even grid. in your bill as per the same tariff rate i wanted only to only thing is that panel needs to be maintained correct Of course, you need to enter into the AMC. Of course, of course. Lord, it's, uh, I have not yet been successful, my lord. They've been telling me it's only no, now no, permitted you... for multi-story. No, lord, no, no. Not... Bangalore, it's happened. No, I know, my lord. In paper, it should be possible. No, in your uh, bungalow, you can install it. No, I know I can, my lord. But they have not, my lord. Only thing is, if there are some trees covering the terrace okay, area, you need to prune that. Yes. Put it on top. Yes. Get an AMC. Lord, I want. I wanted. My to... neighbor, they have got it. we have got a small house only my neighbor they have got it. only thing is you need to maintain yeah. and you have a tap connection at this yes. and he's got a particular chemical they clean the outer yes. panel once in once in a month inside the solar uh, uh, the energy but of the i fail strength. to get it in calcutta in spite of chc being my client <laughs> i've asked them come please whether we can do it for multi story it's not here no 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 i know it's permitted man it's permitted you get a central government subsidy correct for melod solar solar energy lord csc is very justified in saying this because csc getting the uh, <laughs> electricity is from him if he uh, has solar panel electricity no, no. i generate also no this is green energy no no he, he if there is a solar panel ah. and he will have electricity from that also then there will no need for csc electricity get on the grid melod i can't use it myself it is notional correct they put it on to the grid and they have got a separate meter so based on that they compute 
and adjust it against your monthly consumption yeah. or bi monthly billing cycle you know the green energy becomes available to them in, uh, our airport uh, inter- yes 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 they yes, 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 yes. have got a mange dengi ka account hum to hai bol diya no 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 hum to page hai to they will be poor if they allow uh, mr mukherjee to have that's right he is to will suffer a loss to push out down then this what it's a coaching arobo the basic pie yes now look i was just uh, tempted to draw your lordship's kind attention to the वेस्ट बेंगल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कमीशन इज पब्लिश्ड सप्लाई कोड सप्लाई कोड सप्लाई कोड 2013 नॉट काइंडली एक्सक्यूज मी इट्स स्टेपल्ड बिकॉज़ आई डिडंट नो दैट इट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड काइंडली कम टू द टॉप ऑफ द सेकंड पेज clause e so what do you know copy of it hoy rakhi at the second page at the top 21e yes contract load or contract demand means the electrical load in horsepower or kilowatt or in kilovolt ampere which in accordance with a signed contract or agreement between the licensee and the consumer the licensee has committed to deliver and the consumer has the right to draw at the point of supply of the consumer at any or all time during the continuance of the contract agreement the contract load is something which is that this is supply code is of 2013 and this is of 2011 regulation so supply, supply code is subsequent Right under section fifty, no need for the section fifty of the two thousand three Act says the state commission shall specify an electricity supply code to provide for recovery of electricity charges, intervals for billing of electricity charges, disconnection of supply of electricity for non-payment thereof, restoration of supply of electricity. Measures. So all these are subject matters of supply code. Yes. but if i may just try to clarify what your lordship was pleased to observe at page 
contract demand is equal to annual consumption in unit divided by number of days in a year multiplied by 24. Well, there, my submission is this does not relate to actual kindly see the sentence in totality. For the purpose of these regulations, the contract demand shall also mean any of the following words that might have been incorporated in the agreement, otherwise not, between the consumer and the licensee, such as contract load or contract loaded, sanction load or contract uh, connected ag aggregate install capacity, where the term connected aggregated install capacity or installed capacity or connected load on contract load or contract load or contractual load is used in such agreement. In such case, the contract demand will be arrived at as per the following formula. Otherwise, the general earlier part, the same thing on the supply code. For the purpose of these regulations, the contract demand shall mean the electrical load in horsepower or kilowatt of volt ampere, which in accordance with the signed contract or agreement between the licensee and the consumer, the licensee has committed to deliver and the consumer has right to draw at the delivery point of the consumer at any or all time during the currency of the contract agreement. The same thing in the supply code. The latter part is no longer appears in the supply code. This is 11, so only for the purpose of the agreement, not for anything else. Now, Lord, Having cleared this, I just be tempted to take your lordship to the judgment under appeal yes. to show where, according to me, the honorable judge has missed the point. was not part of Peter. 57 compared with 261. Good. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed two things. One is, can you see page 57? Can we see page 57? The monthly bill from 2022-04 to such and such. Gross area plus ED area, etc. Gross amount, adjustment, ED plus ED adjustment. So this is being added for the and if you will also see it's page 261 side by side. Yes. So it's only gross and yes. Therefore, this is a new introduction. But judgment. Judgment. Page the impugned judgment. Page one three nine. Yes, but I just draw your Lordship's kind attention to the relevant portions because your Lordship has already heard me at length and 
Kindly come to. No, sir, you can put it in your own words. Uh, what is the learned judge ultimately hold? Sir, 19th age. I, I put it in my own words. That is easier also. Yes, his, his lordship has uh, noted the points. I don't trouble your lordship with that because I have already argued. Kindly come to say, paragraph 19. Lord, in fact, I'll say one more thing. Paragraph 18. Hmm. It is contended that no electricity duty has been levied while calculating the security deposit. Factually correct. Factually incorrect. Because that is why we have come. And th this is not our case. The Honorable Judge was considering their case. It's, if it is their case, I win on this group. If it is their case, I win on this group. Let them say, yes, it will not be taken into consideration. I have no... Probably the sentence should have been, it is contended that while calculating security deposit, electricity duty was not reckoned or was not a component. It should be like that. That was your argument. It is their submission. It is their submission that the learned, uh, learned judge is recording. So this is their submission. My Lord, no should go. My Lord, no. Because <laughs> the analysis which follows, my Lord, will show, my Lord, that no. All right. We'll skip that. So where, where is the ultimate uh, finding rendered? 19. No, there the section is uh, extracted, etc. Yes. Let us come to the straight away to the finding. If you follow she sees. Para 29 onwards. Hmm. Heard the parties. Uh, yes. Our learned counsel to the parties. The sole dispute raised in the present petition is it with regard to security deposit charged by the GVC against the petitioners for a period from April 22? Not exactly. I am not asked, uh, questioning other components of security deposit. That remains as it was. Only three components. The contention of the petitioners that component B regarding other bill is not chargeable against the petitioners is arguable on facts. The GVC in its arguments has given a prime FSC explanation, but I am not on that. For coming to such a conclusion, a perusal of the relevant law on the subject is necessary. There, in my respect, submission, the learned judge has gone wrong. Section 47 of the Act in subsection 1 stipulate that the security will be reasonable, which is, however, qualified by the expression as may be determined by the regulations. Such security, as per the said subsection, is for the payment to the licensee of all monies which may become due to him. Remember, our submission, that's not due to him, it's due to the government. That, that, we have noticed. See, that, that has not been ad adverted to at all. The context of such use are, and we another thing, 33, thus even as per the definition given in section 47 of the parent act, the security deposit, though reasonable, has to be calculated with regard to all monies which become due to the licensee in respect of electricity supplied to the consumer, which are broad terms. Lord, units consumed has not at all been considered by the and our submission that the 35 Act is independent and it cannot be read in the light of 2003 Act. Now, Lord, kindly come to you can come to paragraph thirty seven. Ah, yes, no, before the thirty six. Thirty six, yes. The next regulation which comes to the four is regulation fifty five, dated August seven, two thousand thirteen. Trained by WPRC. 
supply. That's the supply code. That is the supply code. And where is this class subclass nine? Nineteen of class three point two point two. That is the regulation handed over supply code. Oh, separate. Two thousand thirteen regulation. It says all dues. All dues we understand. ये बिल्स और पोस्टपेड ये देखो एक ही मीटर नंबर एक ही नो बोला आज राजू तू आपसे सीज थ्री पॉइंट इस इस मेंशन थ्री पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू पेज सिक्स इक्वल आपसे सिक्स पेज सिक्स ऑफ़ द सप्लाई कोड थ्री पॉइंट टू इस बिल पर्टिकुलर्स वेर द बिल्स आर पोस्टपेड दिस रिलेट्स टू Bill particulars. The bills shall be so transparent as to enable the consumer to know and understand how much he is paying and what he is paying for. Then three point two point two, your lordship was. The bill shall contain the following minimum details. What the bill will contain. Kindly see, his lordship. Says about sub clause X I X. What X I X says? Total charges rounded off to the nearest rupees or lower multiple of rupees ten, whichever may be convenient to the licensee. So it's total charges. That is that is what the bill will contain. So essentially, the learned judge was convinced that all monies. That's that's one aspect. So one aspect, and that I have told you, all monies due. That has not been dealt with according. That has not been dealt with. I need to see paragraph thirty-seven. Yes. In so far as the reference to section fifty-six of the two thousand three Act is concerned, the same is neither here nor there, in the sense. That it stipulates stipulates as default neglect to pay any charge for electricity, or any sum other than a charge for electricity, due from a licensee. The same is extremely wide, and as such cannot inure to the benefit of the petitioners. In fact, the liability to pay the consumer to the uh, to the licensee, taking a cue from Section 56, is not restricted to the charge for electricity, but also any other sums. Then a charge for electricity due from him to the licensee. We are not begging the point. I was arguing about whether that can be included in security deposit. There is no discussion with regard to that. His lawyer is discussing whether charges can be recovered from me, but whether these ingredients can be included for the purpose of calculating security deposit has not been dealt with. I think the argument before the learned single bench was slightly different. But I was not the able to like cannot say. <laughs> that is so. We checked up. We checked up the names of the learned advocates. That was slightly different. Anyway, we will consider. So probably you will have a reply turn. Any judgments you are relying upon? No, I think this because section speak for itself. Your lordship. So when do we continue? Well, I can start today if your lordship wants. Four. I got a meeting. Right. Well, uh... My Lord, could it be my Lord Wednesday or tomorrow, my Lord, whatever, my Lord. tomorrow, my Wednesday, where it will come, bottom. Well, kindly keep it next Monday, my Lord. If I get this kind of a run, my Lord, my Lord, I won't need that much, my Lord. I'll, my Lord, uh, because my learned friend shown, because my Lord. Actually, this uh, you'll have to answer this as a original argument. Is I will, but I'll also take the point, uh, my lord, that some of the points were not argued are before it, the learned sentence. A point of law can be taken at any they point are, of time. Well, I'm not only on point of law, my lord, on factual basis, because my lord, what is reasonable, my lord, to ask for security deposit, my lord, is my lord a question of fact. And what? what just a short answer. Why this was not forming part of the SD earlier? My lord, that's electricity duty. Yes, only electricity duty, my lord, was my lord the main, my lord aspect. My lord, one is related to tariff, my lord. Before the tariff commission, my lord, when my lord the matters went up, my lord tariff was to be determined. 
my lord was when it was determined for that period my lord we were told my lord to recover it my lord over time in respect of coming so that is my lord the differential it is part of consumption it is what you are paying my lord because my lord the cost of fuel had gone up the price of electricity had gone up mm. so my lord it is related to consumption completely secondly my lord demand charge section 45 itself says for any supply of electricity my lord tariff is twofold my lord one is fixed because my lord on your demand we are giving an assurance that you will have this minimum mm. available to you so i have to have the infrastructure ready in that sense so that is my lord the demand charge that is part of tariff for any supply so it's connected my lord to consumption and then my lord is my lord the actual consumption my lord which happens and my lord most importantly your lordships will find my lord section 47 says that my lord it's in relation to supply not my lord for supply it's in relation to whatever my lord sums my lord become due and you are the person who is um, liable to collect it yes i have to as per the state act my lord not just that my lord even my lord my lord what can happen my lord which i must also point out my lord my learned friend also pointed it out my lord your lordships will find in section 5 of that act my lord which i must show your lordships my lord mm. section 5 of the act and which is of utmost importance my lord before the proviso my lord kindly take my lord before the proviso my lord kindly just have a look at my lord section is going to be your sir which is just state act yes yes state act my lord my lord i the duty so payable shall be a first charge yes my lord kindly have a look my lord this is most important by the license yes the duty so payable shall be a first charge on what on the amount recoverable by the licensee for the energy supplied by him. so if i recover whatever is my lord what i have supplied to him the charges for that they retain a my lord first charge and shall be a debt due by him to the state government this is the reason my lord at the end of the day i keep recovering my lord whatever is due to me i can't use it and i'll show your lordship the regulation say that my lord the bill must mention my lord the electricity duty or bills of consumption that is their sample bill is at my lord not even sample bill i'll show the regulation itself my lord your lordship my lord kindly takes my lord the regulation 93 huh? 53 my lord kindly take page 253 my lord so in the bill the details of the bill includes everything yes, yes. yes. and it has duty right what are you bullet i am not questioning lord, that my lord kindly fact, i don't know whether the speak our surcharge was subject matter of challenge there it was subject matter challenge everything the e tax e tax i am sorry e tax this um uh, surcharge or speak our surcharge yes. speak our charges uh, dismissed then uh, my lord kindly have a look at page 253 my lord 8.5.2 the licensee shall clearly indicate i'm sorry my lord page 253 this is part of my lord the regulations mm. of 2011 mm. my lord which still remains now my lord the licensee shall clearly indicate in the consumer's bill following components of tariff and, and duty see. kindly see now clause f electricity duty and my lord it is based on Three months of bills of consumption. So, my lord, what I have to estimate, my lord, is three months of bills of consumption. As per the state act. As no, and this is my lord the regulation. No, as per regulations. As per regulation. No, no, ele- computation of ele- electricity duty. Yes, the- is as per the state act, but the regulations themselves under my lord. my lord the electricity act of 2003 181 provides my lord for my lord the bills to show this separately my lord what is tariff and what is duty yes sir. and that itself together my lord constitutes my lord the bill of consumption and the regulations then provide my lord that my lord it has to be estimated 
the security deposit that I can well demand has to be a reasonable amount and it should be three months of the estimated bills of consumption. Three months of the bill, which will include this. Now, kindly imagine a situation, my lord, I, my lord, recover my charges. I have no security, my lord, for my lord, the, my lord, uh, duty. Hmm. And my lord, it's a first charge on whatever I've recovered. Hmm. And it's my debt, which I have to pay to them. Well, what do I get? My lord, I have to set up infrastructure to effect a supply. My lord, then I effect the supply. My lord, I recover from the consumer. But my lord, I cannot use that money. All right. We have heard Mr. Parthasar, the Sen Gupta, and its senior advocate for the Apple Land. That was concluded his submission. For the arguments of the learned advocates for the respondents, list on 8th April. Yes, 8th April. 8th. 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 But uh, during the pendency of the expedition, any interim order was no, 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 uh, appeal itself. But interim order wasn't in the red petition. Uh, no, 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 If you had had an interim order and the red petition had been dismissed, yeah, you know, a huge lot of burden on me, huge amount. And first thing is, they'll pull up the fuse. <laughs> in fact, when this e tax batch came up, one uh, learned single budget who did dealt with the matter. He called all the advocates for the petition. I'm also saying a lot of spinning mills, etc. He said, agree for a reasonable conditional order. It may take a year, it may take a year and a half for the writ petitions to be heard because on an average, 15 fresh cases were being filed every day. So he said, hold a meeting with all your top uh, uh, clients, all the advocates, agree for a reasonable interim order on a condition to a deposit 20%, 25%. You won't believe it. Ultimately, the entire batch was dismissed. And the generating company raised a demand as a result of which these medium scale industries could not survive. But, but for that interim order of payment of this 25% or 20%, and then uh, we all went with a begging bowl to the court and the court said the remaining will you recover in installments without charging any interest because that will carry interest. And there was another penal levy also. By then, the state government passed another supplementary government order saying that arrears will attract penal levy. Finished. Finished. The entire world. capital is eroded. So that, that way it's better. Ultimately, if, suppose you succeed, you are going yes, to adjust, yes. adjust. I have paid intact thing pursuant to your order. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.